it's the here, here comes the intro. I'm getting this bitch on track. <laughs> We're doing this. Fucking thing sucks. We'll do it live. Welcome back and happy new year. Here's Cruising with Steak 2019. We're here another year. Got my main man, James Cruz, in the house. Yeah, James. I'm here for the party. Woo! We're here with Mr. That Guy, who's sipping perp. <laughs> Loot. There he is. Loot. And we got Jerry Cthulhu. Here he is. Scooby Dooby Doo. And Mr. Cliff Wall, Felix Ortega. Bernie, Bernie. Oh, no. Or the, I was thinking wild we thing. We gotta go. Super Bowl. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie. Oh, no. How you can't throw. Yeah, yeah. The way yeah. I go. <laughs> That's we a are. Cleveland classic right there. 86 Browns. Chris, 86 Browns. <laughs> I was like Massachusetts. It was a boss. <laughs> no, man. Bernie Kozar. They, 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 they'd switch that song to a Bernie Bernie. Yeah, he was a gunslinger back then. <laughs> the good old days. So it wasn't a Bernie manager. Side, the, well, dude, he, had, he had the most wicked sidearm ever. Like he threw like this crazy. He just threw all. Yeah, he threw like a sidearm pitcher. It was crazy looking. Guys, happy new year. Happy, 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 almost happy new year to you yeah. too. Yeah, here we are. I'm glad to be hanging with everybody uh, to to kick it off again. Yeah. Fake New Year. Yeah, that is I, true. I know. I kept seeing your. Uh, you want to give us what the is history this Hallmark on that, holiday? <laughs> Hallmark holiday. Hallmark <laughs> holiday. <Yeah, that's> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Classic, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry oh, it's, you... <laughs> it's it's the Gregorian calendar New Year. The original you know, New Year was. Oh yeah, March. if you put it that way. I know my wife today is like, "What do people fucking do on New Year's Day?" I'm like, "What I'm so, doing right now, sitting my ass on the couch." <laughs> like, so was that the uh, was that the Romans or was that just like a pope or something? Yeah. It was the Romans. The Romans and. Uh, the Gregorian monks came up with the calendar. Hmm. Yeah, but they sucked at math. They did. They, they sucked at math, and they got the they got the years wrong. So it's like seven years off or something like that. There's some kind of you know, it's, there's fuckery in there somewhere. I don't know what it's all about though. How do we even know what year it really is, or what? What's what's even reality? When you, when you talk about things like that, that's just <clears throat> that mind fucks me. Well, no, I mean you can divide up a solar year evenly. So why didn't they? Right. You know, but they but they can calculate the circumference of the Earth, but they can't figure out how to divide three hundred and sixty. Hmm. But I digress. Yeah, some shenanigans. It is. It's because the tilt of the Earth is sixty six point six degrees. Oh, is that for real? Of course it is. Yeah. Oh man. Is, is it gonna you think it's gonna tilt more? I don't know. Uh, is, is it really tilted? How do we even know? Maybe we maybe the know. universe is just bent. <laughs> it's it's not, maybe it's we're slanted. right. Yeah, maybe we're yeah. right. But Saturn's losing its rings. All the planets uh, I just heard about yeah, that. Yeah, I too, saw yeah. that. That's crazy. Yeah. So mm. is it, are they disappearing or are they like absorbing into the planet or how is this? What's going on? I don't know. My Condensing? long range sensors are down, man. I don't know. No. Oh. Or did they just run out of like uh, paint on the, on, on the Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well, have you ever read or heard about the guy? Oh, I can't remember his name, but he wrote this book called the Ringmakers of Saturn. I mean, a stro- astronomer. I think, <laughs> or a physicist. Well, the, it's ring the rings are supposed to be a planet, I think, that was smashed. Like, well, it depends who you talk to. Like David sure, Wilcox yeah. says, it's the uh, debris of like outer satellites and crap like that. Right. Oh. Um, they just kind of grind up like like sand on a beach. Yeah. And yeah. then there's parts of whole tech in there, too, apparently. Yeah, and, I just watched when they were sending that probe through there. You know, I watched that maybe like a couple weeks tink, ago. Tink, tink, tink. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like you, and you don't really. I mean, it, it hauls ass through there. It's gone through like, I think like six times. Like it loops around and comes, go, keeps going through it or something like that. But uh, it's very different up close. Yeah, it's 
it's just just a I, I, again I, it's a flat plane of yeah uh, yeah yeah why it's just weird. Uh, it's a I, very unique thing dude yeah the, the ringmaker guy was a uh, norman bergrun run bergrun the book is from 86 Norman. and he describes these things called electromagnetic vehicles, EMVs that actually built the rings. And there's another dude, James, I can't remember his last name, but he's like all about the EMVs and how they are always in pictures around the sun. He, th- he says the sun is inhabited with these things. Hmm. They're like the watchers of, you know, sounds like they're uh, lo- loitering. <laughs> just loitering just or running a free ride. <laughs> well, you know who knows you, you ever hear about the the high-pitched uh technology that store storefront or people that own stores they'll play the high-pitched sounds so of the the youth get annoyed by the oh the yeah high-pitched. yeah because like older people can't hear the tone but like oh, young people God. can hear this certain tone and it just it they have to run from it it's too much like a dog whistle yeah, you, almost. Can actually, you, can, you can actually buy an annoyatron from think geek it's a little thing that's made that's uh, powered by a watch battery. You know, all it is is it just beeps at random periods for be, like two or three seconds at a time. That'd be pretty convenient for uh, teachers, you know, to get their students in line. Just just hit mm-hmm. the whistle. <laughs> yeah, a literal dog whistle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was man. trying to say earlier when you guys were saying something about the the Earth tilting and then my microphone wasn't working, and I was I was going to say I thought we were in a, a no tilt zone. <laughs> you didn't uh, get a ticket. Okay. The, the, but it's like uh what like it's like at the arcade (laughs) yeah oh the no tilt yeah yeah do you guys remember uh uh 3d 3d pinball for like windows 95 or windows 98 like when it first came out like there was the built-in games and there was a 3d pinball and you'd get like three tilts per round like where you could tilt the table just a little like freebies yeah a little flashback from the built-in windows games where you put the little tiddly wink in the middle of the bingo yeah, I re- I remember the only game. I mean, there was a PlayStation one. I don't. I remember, but you had to pay to get like better like games. But um, remember Marvel Madness? That was that was pretty crazy. Like Marvel Madness was awesome. Yeah, rolling that ball around all the different geometric shapes and shit, trying to get it to fucking. Yeah, that was that was pretty tough. I spent all my college tuition money pumping it into a Marvel Madness machine. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my two! I fucking hate that game. My, man, I was like, I'd go in the military. Oh, oh you say Cubert? Yeah, I like, hate Cubert. My favorite yeah. game was Sinistar. I pumped a lot of quarters. Sinistar. Yeah. I haunt you. Mm. <laughs> this giant, this giant, I don't even remember how it works. I do, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, we played a lot. Yeah, I was still like. I remember one arcade experience that was pretty cool. There was this restaurant, and then they had an up an upstairs like a lighthouse type thing. Because I live all like everybody might know that listens to this, but I've always grew up like around the lake. So I went to this place called Fairport Harbor, and they had a restaurant. And upstairs they had a game room that had maybe like ten or twelve machines in it. And somebody left the key to the coins like in one of the machines. Yeah, and it was all like universal, it's like a skeleton key. Dude, we were just up there for like the whole time. Like, I don't even think we ate dinner. I mean, I'd have been maybe like 13 or something at the time. So it was like perfect timing, like at that age. And uh, we were just playing everything over and over and over and over. That's my funny uh, pen, so you're like uh, a, arcade story. You're like a water boy. You always live by water. Uh, yes, I. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Are you, are you, a, yes. Oh, you're Aquarius? Yeah. Now I'm a Pisces. Oh, you're close. Yeah, that's watery. Yeah, that's watery, man. I'm a, I, I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I've been meaning to ask you about that. Yes. I am a fish. <laughs> I just reeled in some massive fish on, on fucking Red Dead Redemption. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been catching legendary fish left and right. Do you play with... Uh, uh, what's his I, name? No, no I haven't Mike? played with Mike yet. I keep, I keep saying... I send him a message. I'm like, yo... And I get nothing. Fuck He's got his own posse. Yeah. No, not, I don't think so. he said he he played it with one of the dudes, but I've never I, I see him like it might the PlayStation, you know, you can spy on people. It's like Facebook or something. Would like, you consider? You see, would you yeah, you can see if somebody's on, but you, some and it'll say if they're playing the game or not. I've never seen them playing the game. Yeah, that's yet. how that's how Steam is too. It shows uh, people. Right. Yeah, your friends that are online. Yeah. 
which is fine. I just, it just doesn't show him playing the game. If he was playing the game, then I would be more like, Hey dude, let's play. But I was just saying, yo, you know, see if it, the connection works good. You can't see, but like, he's like three hours uh, behind us, you know, or whatever. So you can't see his like player in the, in the, in the world, the virtual world. I haven't, no, I haven't played yet. Yeah, it's we haven't, probably, we haven't, it's, is it completely open world like that? There's got to oh, be yeah. multiple yeah. or different instances and different uh, servers and Dude, stuff that people are on. It's completely open world. Yeah. Do they consider that a, what is that, massive World. multiplayer like yeah ma- massive well, multiplayer imagine grand RPG. theft auto dude you can go in any place you can go in like any door some are locked but like you can just be right you riding your horse down a trail pull, roll off and then just break into somebody's house <laughs> and then there's a whole new world like like they they like a lot of people like they, that live in the houses they stash like their valuables like up inside the chimney so you can go in and search chimneys you can it dude the can game you, is insane it's, too, it's so much snakes yes yeah, snakes are all over and your horse like you'll be trucking down a trail it'll it'll see a snake and just fucking just go berserk they hate snakes man <laughs> my yeah. uh my uh brother was over and i played uh this game called fish in time with uh, my nephews and it's a board game it's really cool because the the it's i don't know it's not like a like a prominent game yeah whatever. and you just get to fish basically and it's really cool because like the board is just like an overhead view of a lake and there's all these uh, it's almost like D, but for fishing <laughs> it's really cool but, but it's like the, the the all these cards it's kind of like monopoly where you pick a card from like okay. the chest and then it yeah. tells you um like the first 15 cards 20 cards were bad luck like oh you dropped your wallet in the water Oh, you dropped your <laughs> life vest in the water. Go straight to jail. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Yeah, and then the DNR will come around and um and take all your fish away from you if you don't have your license or a, a life. Oh, vest. dude, the, the, the park rangers. That's great. Yeah, it, it's a cool thing. <laughs> and then you set it. It's like a tournament. So you set it. You set a timer. You could play. For oh wow! An hour, and at the end, whoever has like the most weight and fish wins. Hmm. It's like I, fun. And like it the sounds the, fun, you know, like um, little towns will have those people will make little caricatures of people's towns and it'll show like all the business owners. You ever seen those? Yeah, well, like Beetlejuice, like- no, like you go to towns, like <laughs> there's a couple towns that I've been to where there'll be like a little map of the, the city, yeah, and, and people oh, in real up, life, no, they'll put they'll put up a put them up in their stores. <laughs> Yeah. but there'll be like little caricature oh it's a drawing like a, yeah i know what you're saying yeah those are always cool yeah because it'll show like the the prominent people in, in yes town, and it'll show like, here's like, the mayor's people. place yeah like yeah and then it'll have like a little caricature of his face and there'll be like giant standing next to like the i dig it hall. yeah but, uh, it has that kind of look to it but an overhead view and it just it's very uh that's fun that sounds like a f- fun game that like the whole family could play it's, it's not, I'm not even big into fishing, and like the last time I played it, I said, oh, I think I'm gonna get I want to go fishing. fishing. <laughs> like it turned me well, when I went on that boat trip, I went fishing. That was the first time I went in a long time, but I only caught like two fish. Where'd you go? <laughs> Into Pennsylvania and this like this lake that actually was an old city that they that they you know flooded eventually for like a uh, basin runoff. Like, and it's a dude, there's one point where like it's deeper than Lake Erie. It's super deep. It's like 150 feet deep. Is it kind of like uh, me? Super deep. Super Ooh. deep. Yeah. yeah. See what you uh, not like not sexually, like. Uh, but it's. I can't remember the lake off the top of my head, but it was. It's not huge. You can cruise around, and there's tons of little like 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 little I don't know trails off of it, you know. And that's where you post up at night, and because we had a. Um, Did you a guys tell houseboat? And ghost stories? Ghost stories? No, I told podcasting stories and I talked about cryptids and um to all the ghosts that are standing around. He's telling yeah, podcasting stories. And <laughs> they kept everyone my cousins kept asking me questions about all the people we had uh, and that actually when I was there, Grim went on OBDM by himself. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's when you were yeah, on that, that fishing was that trip. When yeah, I was there, right. yeah, and I was. Did you tell them about the vampires at all, James? I don't know a lot about that whole vampire stuff. Like, I mean, I know it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's the ether. Uh, <laughs> didn't I say okay, I have a problem too? I this is one thing that because I've I haven't stopped talking since we started, and it's 
highly annoying. And the problem is, is because I don't know why I do that. I just get so excited because I was listening to uh, Conspiracy Normals year in review, and they talked about our show. And he's like, "That fucking James is crazy. You don't shut up. <laughs> he just keeps talking and talking and talking." <laughs> <laughs> and, and I take it to heart and it makes me laugh and that's like my new year's uh resolution is to try to like keep on point a little bit better but still add my my dick jokes and stupidness involved uh didn't I send easy. you didn't I send you a care package that had a fortune cookie in it that said in the future you'll be spending time on the water you did and that was right before you went you on the fishing trip <laughs> Oh man, That's I deep. remember that. Yeah, I still have. I still have this stuff. Yeah. Did you know about the fishing trip before you sent it? I just randomly had a couple of fortune cookies floating yeah. around, and I go, "I'm gonna, I'll send this one." Yeah, is this like behind behind the seat in the pickup truck or what? <laughs> <laughs> I found it under the seat, top of the microwave, and like a little. Uh, oh, there you go. Bowl. Oh, with like soy sauce, and it's in the drawer where you know you store them. Uh? <laughs> yeah, so I gotta. I'm gonna try to check myself a little bit more this year and kind of get to the point. Hopefully, a little easier stuff like that. James, you're doing but fine. Still, Who cares? But still have right fun, man. I gotta have fun, dude. This you is more awesome. concise. What's yeah. that? You're gonna be more concise. I'm gonna try. Supposedly, <laughs> Talk I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> can, you, can you expand on that a little bit, James? I mean, what do you mean exactly? Oh man, just egg you want me on. to talk some more about it? Yeah. You guys got to stop asking me questions. That's a couple of different ways. Supposedly, I supposedly let's talk about yeah. some twenty. Let's talk about some twenty eighteen. I know I, we got a lot of. I guess what, we what, some stuff. What, you, what was what was some uh, what was some high points of twenty eighteen? I'm gonna go first, and I'm just gonna Do say it, huh? probably CryptidCon was was yes. a highlight of twenty eighteen. The rest of it was just a lot of working and same old crap. <laughs> but uh yeah, other than that, that that was yeah. Crypticon was uh that was the that was the tops. It was good. It, Although I, I I did get very depressed because I realized that twenty eighteen is like this is the first year in my adult life that I haven't been laid and I was like, Oh man. That one kinda that one hit me hard. So oh, we gotta I get rec- it. Yeah, we gotta rectify like this in twenty nineteen. We gotta do something about this. I gotta insert this penis. I think we should go to Vegas. <laughs> we could. Let's do it. Vegas. Oh. Where are we going to Vegas? Because we can all get laid there. Yeah, we just, I mean. I, I was talking to my wife. Like, you, you guys have fun. I'll be the designated driver. I like that. This is that guy with my ass. Yes. Drive. We're going to just we, be walking. No, you can sit there and watch. <laughs> no, I need I need a handler there. So that'd be good. That'd be great if you're a that guy. A good he handler. A a good, need a good <laughs> hander. A good hander. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what are some other 2018 highlights, guys? Throw throw, throw some at me, anybody. All right, well, Q and on. Q and on. Sure. Can we talk about personal life? Oh, <laughs> oh you want to go personal? Okay, everyone do a personal, and then I we'll go through the story. Yeah. So, oh, new job. Yeah, Jer. Yeah. That's right. Congrats. Um, God, let me see. Else. Felix, yeah, everything else was. Oh, I, I, I built a couple things. Like I got the. I'm actually kind of. I'm. I got this table in front of me right now. That's uh, my new kind of studio table, and I'm pretty happy nice. about it. Because it was a lot of just in my mind for a, like a couple, like a month or two. Like oh, I want to build a table because my back's hurting from just like leaning forward because <laughs> it wasn't to my my specifications so i built a sweet table and I'm, I'm liking it good deal it's highlight i think i wait I, I you know i think i just figured out a correlation here um 2018 was also the year that i got deeply obsessed again with anime and i didn't get late at all so we might be having some sort of correlation going oh on yeah there, there, there could be a correlation there <laughs> i mean i'm i'm <laughs> i'm really is that the link like, like it might yeah, be is that what it happens might be with anime it's it's very well possible because it's starting to happen to me now too dude it's it, yeah. <laughs> oh man it's all starting oh, to make sense the pieces are coming yeah. together Ugh. maybe you just need to change up your style start wearing different types of clothes. oh yeah i know i i should retire the jinkos i've been wearing those yeah. for like 20 years already <laughs> get rid of the boxers and start wearing me undies oh maybe yeah get some me undies <laughs> what kind of shoes do you wear? What? Oh, I, 
I don't wear shoes. I just I just wear old bags. Yeah, I just flip flops. I wear Crocs year round. What are you What are you doing with Crocs? You can do better than that. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade. Upgrade. My my uh, wife always jokes about uh, her and her family say like their New Year's thing is like they say, "Oh, this is the year of the upgrade." They're always talking about upgrading their lives. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, upgrade your life. Get some well, I, yeah, I would say level up, up but I think we level up in different ways. There's probably multiple ways <coughs> we upgrade and level up and see things differently, uh, cons- consume differently. But yeah, I think we're all in the same mm-hmm. <laughs> same. Uh, I don't know what you say. I don't want to say like uh bubble. I don't think it's really a bubble, but it, if it is a bubble, it's a, it's about the size of the earth <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're inside of it and we're, we're, we're trying to break it down. I don't we're know. Getting jiggy with it. <laughs> it's getting jiggy. We got to have fun. Sometimes you got to throw out a moonwalk and spin and then grab There's your crotch. James. He's working on that being concise thing again. We got this. Yep. <laughs> 2019. Like I, I, I love it. This commercial. <laughs> this commercial on youtube and i don't know what it is it's some guy selling some uh motivational kind of thing and i watched a few seconds of it and the first thing he kind of mentions is that like a lot of the procrastination that we do in our lives is because we don't have like self-esteem and then <laughs> like have good self-esteem and you you just think that everything you're going to do you're going to do it good and complete it then you're not going to like procrastinate mm-hmm. you gotta, you gotta, I can see that. You gotta love yourself like- first you gotta start loving yourself. It's rule yeah, one. Just gotta believe in yourself a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You, you gotta love the motivational stuff, though. I mean, it's like six months ago I was five foot eleven, and now I'm six foot four. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought myself hot. I thought I thought height for for myself. It could work. <laughs> I thought it. What? <laughs> oh god! Manifest, yeah. Manifest a taller self. I like it. I get, a kick, I get a kick out of those ones where the guys say like, you could be like me and <laughs> you can own all these fancy cars. It was not about like a month ago. All I did was will it, willpower it. Yeah. And and yeah. if you sign up for uh, my, uh, my course, my course, <laughs> 19 bucks a month. You well, that was like, like the bread and butter infomercials back in like the nineties, totally. the late night infomercials playing that shit. They're back. Just madness. Remember that guy with the dollar sign suit on that was screaming about all this free money you could get from the government? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Matthew, um, something co, set co or stet co or something like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's always always screaming at us. Does your shirt have a, what's up with your shirt, Jerry? Skeletor. It's it's Skeletor made it like a sugar skull. You know, and if you sit just right, you can actually uh, make it, you can make it chatter. Yes, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> calling the dark. Let's see if I get dark here. Calling the dark, awesome. That's what I was seeing. It looks Ooh. like a cross between Ooh. Skeletor and uh, some kind of uh, Santa Muerte, though. Yeah, the sugar yeah. skulls. Yep. It's Watch out, nice. she, she get revenge on you. Uh, I got a couple of dream highlights I wanted to uh, mention. <clears throat> okay, let's. Oh hear yeah. That. Hear a couple weird dreams. Yeah. yeah. These are more recent. Okay, so I was in a, a bar, or it was a kind of a cocktail bar, and I was kind of sitting at a table by myself, and I think I was waiting for my wife, and she was off somewhere doing something, and all of a sudden, this like kid came up to me, and he like shoved me out of my seat, and him and a group of his friends kind of sat at the seat, and I was talking to him about how rude he was being, and I'm like, hey, man, you're being really rude, and I was pretty reasonable with them, and just like, you, that you just don't do that. And, um, I go upstairs in this cocktail bar and, and, and people are like taking naps on the ground. And I'm, I'm like, this is kind of a strange cocktail bar. People come here to take naps. And it was like a bedroom upstairs. Then I go back downstairs and I see my wife's coat on the ground and I'm like, Hey, what the heck? Where, where'd my wife go? And there, there's her coat. And she has this kind of cool coat. It looks like a, almost kind of like a letterman's jacket, pink kind of coat. And I go and I, I'm about to leave this cocktail bar. I'm looking out the window and I see this uh, food truck guy, but it's not a food truck. It's more like a food cart. And he's like flipping pizzas on this food cart. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I should have that. I should do something like that. And so I walk outside and 
all of a sudden this new character is in the dream and he's he's just wearing like all black and he's kind of dressed up um and just kind of a button down shirt black and we get on the sidewalk and i see these this uh like u-haul truck pull up to the street and then the u-haul truck back opens and these two samurai guys get out and i go hey uh, what's up with those samurai guys? And they start walking towards us and one of them pulls out his sword and he's got a samurai sword. And I go, uh, we need to turn around and get out of here. And so the samurai swords guys kind of turn around too, and they walk the other way and they fake that they're going to walk away. So I'm like, Oh, we can go back that way. It's safe. So we start walking that way and they turn around and they start coming at us again with these samurai swords. And the guy with the samurai sword was explaining to me and they kind of look like terracotta terracotta like uh what are those those the chinese soldiers that were buried yeah yeah like uh, almost, almost clay looking sort of oh yeah there yeah, you go that guy has one right there got one. that guy oh, no way <laughs> just has one right on hand to be able to Get show right us Jeez. Yep. Get it. this is where it gets bizarre hold so on a second let me pull it out of my there it is <laughs> <laughs> Ter- that's they called terracotta your bag yeah. of holding yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shh. You're not supposed to know what's up there. <laughs> so they start the. Oh, I get through the airport. Two samurai guys. Start, two samurai guys start stalking us, and they're stalking us kind of like Michael Myers does, where you, he they don't they don't run after you, but he just keeps walking, and somehow keeps up with you. And me and this guy with the the black button up shirt are standing on the side of this house, and there's like a house party going on, and we're like, oh, we lost them, we lost them. And next thing you know, we turn and we're like on the porch and the samurai sword guy guts like stabs through his, uh, my, my, my guy, who's kind of like my shadow in this dream, basically guts him and the knife or the samurai sword, like goes up his stomach and like up to his body. (laughs) And, uh, somehow, some way I'm like, Oh my gosh, you're dying. And, uh, he morphed into the the samurai guy and then somehow some way i think i like morphed and turned into him too but there was a lot of just like uh agent uh the anderson not no what are the guys called in uh, Matrix? yes yeah the agents yeah yeah the agents there's a lot of that like kind of morphing and then that was kind of the end of that dream where that he died and i turned into him and he also turned into the samurai guy Wow, that's freaky. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. Oh, but the, that, there's that no, the awesome. second second part of the dream was I, I, my wife ended up leaving the bar, the cocktail bar, because she was upset with me for something I said. And the next day, she, I don't know, she we had to talk about it, and she, yeah, that's pretty much it. You suck. Yeah, but she was ass. like, I didn't. I told her about this dream in real life, but I didn't tell her. But a lot of just like she, she was a combination of herself and like two of my ex girlfriends from way long ago like my grade school girlfriend oh man from brookwood <laughs> elementary <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you don't want to be telling her that i yeah i left that out i, I don't think she'd yeah. care good call uh yeah i wouldn't count Dude, on it i'm you just can't, saying you can't control your subconscious you i once some of those are I, tough i had my ex wake up like in the morning like angry as hell at me because she had a dream that I uh, that her that I cheated on her with her sister or something and she woke up like flipping out pissed off and I'm like what is going on right now how is it any way <laughs> how is this in any way my fault like, yeah. it's just yeah. it's yeah, ridiculous bad dreams about you uh, okay <laughs> yeah I had to have that conversation that's not me that you're dreaming about that's yeah. you yeah exactly <laughs> some insecurities or something going on right <clears throat> it's insanity. <laughs> And the second we call that transference. Yeah. Ooh. The second year I could do a really quick one. This was Jerry. Mm. Jerry. Jerry with all these bludgeons that he's making on his lathe are popping into my dream. <laughs> he's making oh, all these weapons. It's like a yeah. it's like a lathe. Jerry's section. making you dream weapons. Jerry, make me some dream weapons, dude. I'm working <laughs> up to it. <laughs> so D- Darren and Darren and uh, Graham are in my dream. Those guys. Graham America podcasts. Were they, they doing gay things together? No, they they actually wanted to do a on the scene boots on the ground uh, podcast for uh, there was some strange cult behavior like satanic cult behavior going on in this like backwoods house, and they wanted to go get they wanted to go and like interview 
these people and there was like i got, I got these little flashes in, of my mind of like sacrifices and just weird things going on in this backwoods house and uh i wanted to call up uh darren and and graham and say hey don't go there bad idea don't do it something bad is gonna happen and uh they ended up kind of like going around this house and it ends up being like jerry's house in the backwoods and jerry's got these bludgeons these uh little bats he's making on his lathe and i'm pretty sure he like he smokes darren and graham in the face with his little mini bats and, <laughs> Jesus. And, that, and that was pretty much it yeah there you have it Props there you have it <laughs> yeah. be like, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to make you a tiny louisville slugger uh brand for those bats can you make brands uh, I I can make a uh, I can make a form for for the for a mold. Yeah, sure. Oh, sweet! I've got a I got a logo made. Want to burn them on there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, send me the logo. I can totally make it out of plastic, and then you can you can pour it in aluminum. Yeah, look, huh. I could just do that. Yeah, come on, that guy. Yeah, weren't you guys doing the? Fu- weren't you doing? Foundry? I mean, I know how to do it. I just don't have make it doing foundry work. Jeez, I want to. I don't have a forge yet. That was gonna, I got to get the foundry together. I got I got to. I got to build something because it's. I'm starting to get that itch. Mm-hmm. I've got the foundry itch. The foundry itch. You ever it watch? Could, it could be a fungus. In, uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> that show for, forged in fire on History Channel. Just a bunch fungus. of yeah. nerds. Yeah. Oh man, it's great. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. So, um, you got something, James? Uh, no, no. Just we're about, about half hour in. I mean, you guys want to go down a couple of. Uh, just fun things from the year again, you know. Like I got, I got, cons- I got the some good conspiracy theories of 2018. All favorite conspiracies um, of 2018. Well, Jeez. just yeah, just I can go down a couple, and we can just mention what we think about some of them. Um, how about? Uh, let's see, I mean, the the the, the Trump Trump Russia collusion is probably the totally, biggest, the most hilarious conspiracy. Yeah, H- hated it. Yeah, the most hated unfounded. It. Simpsons did it. Yeah. <laughs> Simpsons did it. <laughs> Man. I had the I, I did a little musical so interlude we're, quick. We're also fourteen uh fourteen months in and QAnon's still a bust. Dude. No great awakening. No, no great awakening. Terribly disappointed. You gotta make it happen yourself. I think it's like it's like it's like the political version of cuddling. Yeah, yeah it's, it's you get to stay awake yeah. all night with a boner and nothing ever happens. Like we were I'd saying, be more man. concerned oh. about the man in the high castle type regime that's getting started to come into play. Do you think there's going to be some sort of coup, Jer? S- some sort of coup that c- that comes in? Yeah, yeah, dude, it's, it's been going on for the last two years. And once the Democrats are sworn in on Thursday or Wednesday, what day is today? Oh, and I'm they get the House. August. Yeah, when they take control of Congress, you know that. They're not going to do anything but try and impeach Trump. So yeah. they're going to have a really hard time doing that because the House can't do that. Only the Senate can do, do it. Any, well, both, they both houses have to vote. But my my point is that they're not going to focus on anything else. Nothing's going to get done. Oh yeah, I mean nothing's getting done now. So you know. But is that a bad thing? Saying. I mean, if anything, I think yes. government's yeah. the best it's, when it's the most ineffective. Fuckers. They need to do some shit. Just fire them all. Not petty quarrels, which all basically this is. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why I don't pay attention to it. I was just bringing it up because it's going to suck. You, are you going to move out of the country? Where am I going to move to? Yeah, I mean, really. Cuba? You can always come up to that ranch. Yeah, you just move out to it's Kekistan. Just, <laughs> which ranch? <laughs> Kekistan. Yeah. You keep that trying to get me out there. I don't know what that's all about. Dude, I'll go out to that guy's place, shoot some guns on the back 40. It sounds like a good time. I don't know time. what you're talking about. I'm not much of a gun guy. <laughs> yeah, he's going the silent weapons like the heart attack. Gone and... <laughs> yes. um, no. I th- okay, so I got a couple here. How about... Dude, the- just like the shoes. I'm in it for the shoes. <laughs> I'm in it for the shoes, bro. Wait, you, wait. what about a musical interlude real quick? <laughs> okay. Real quick, right, then I'll come back with my uh, a, a top ten list. Okay. You, yeah, I do see that uh, that ocarina in your hand, so go for it. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to blow. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> That's what you did there. You ready? <laughs> yep.
That's there it. it is. What's that song actually called? Auld Lang Syne. <laughs> ah, okay. Because uh, it's a traditional Lang Scottish song. Yeah, what's I wonder what what what's the tradition behind that? Why do people sing that on New Year's Eve? That's a Wikipedia anybody, thing. Anybody? Probably. Yeah, anybody got any insight to this? It's a good question. No. Let's look it up. Uh, my computer runs slow, so maybe it was a good answer. song at one point. Yeah, I'm sure it was. You know, it got spread around, and I would imagine. Uh, Ping to Google. Times long past is what it means. Scottish language poem written by Robert Burns in 1788 and set to the tune of a traditional folk song, Rude, 60, number 6294. It is well known in many countries, especially in the English speaking world. It's, a traditional u- it's traditional use being to bid farewell to the old year, the stroke of midnight. By extension, it is also sung at funerals, graduations, yada, yada, yada. That sounds vaguely Wikipedioid. Yeah, it was Wikipedia. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start my list. Okay. All right. What's your, what's your list? Another day, another mass shooting, or so it seemed. They've almost became routine in America, complete with the unusual scripted media template. Breaking news of a lone gunman with mental issues who goes on an AR-15 rampage at a school. You guys remember this? The Parkland shooting. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> that in March? The what? That would have been uh yeah, I think so. That would yeah, oh. that was it was on like a certain I remember it was it had a weird correlation to the date. <clears throat> it, I actually I don't know if I had the date here. Uh <clears throat> it does, I don't I don't have it off the top of my head here, but um you know, the uh, Nicholas Cruz named as the suspect in the mass shooting, the majority Stoneman uh, at Ma- majority Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, apparently killing some 17 students and staff. However, never in history has such an offbeat tragedy become so over politicized, you know, become an over politicized event. Aside from the unusual horror and outrage, what was unique about the incident and how rapidly it was transformed into a national political campaign? You know, yeah, you know, get your guns, get your, yeah, it was all about gun control, you know, and then as as fast as it was used as an anti-Trump media launching pad, but uh, rather by using the emotive uh, spectacle as a political platform again. So regarding, you know, registering new uh, platform for registering new Democratic voters in time before the eight, 2018 U.S. midterm elections. Jerry's right on point with that, right? So they that, that was all building up, you know, like and, and now that yeah, I think that kid got into a high end school, but like he well, scored like Dave, super low. You're talking about you're David Hogg and Yeah, you got into heart, right? Yeah. Was it David Pig? Yeah, was David Pig or yeah, something. Hog, like that? Hog, David Hogg. David David Hog. David, David Piglet, yes. Yes. Piglet. So, Which is kind of apropos, considering that his dad is an FBI agent. I'm just right, saying. and I think obviously yeah. that's how he got in there. But and I, I just I want to say uh, this might be controversial, but I don't care because I always love his stand up. But even but mm. Louis C.K. You know he he made mm. a comment. He maybe made a joke in poor taste, but he you know he's a comedian. Comedy dude. Cut him some slack. I don't know why that was in poor taste. It was like uh, you know something happened to somebody next to you. Why do I have to listen to you? Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, I think even yeah. in poor taste, it doesn't matter if he if he touched if he you know if he touched someone else or did something like that. That's a problem. But if it's just speaking, it's just talk. Yep. Well, exactly. Yeah. And then they put this kid out there. I mean, he's well spoken. You know. I mean, that was crazy. Handpicked. You know, a group of good looking. Uh, yeah, let's all bring him to the fucking White House. You know, like yeah, it was crazy. Remember all that shit? Jesus yeah, Christ. he was groomed. It was totally yeah. You yeah. Know, it was a narrative. So then, yeah. So then you move that right into the 2018, that like the midterm crisis, dude. So like, uh, the thing that swung the midterms was Kavanaugh, dude. Yeah. The, well, they were, they were pumping out Russian meddling, Russian meddling, no, Russian no, no, meddling. no, the Kavanaugh, the Kavanaugh Supreme well, court, just the allegations of assault when he was 15 by that yeah. crazy blonde lady. That's what yeah. won the Democrats. The kind. Well then, well, it, then right before that, 
which you know the you know the, the, the that pit the congressional in, inquisition was also underway with Trump's uh, Supreme Court justice pick, commonly known as the Kavanaugh hearings, which quickly uh, descended into a Me Too circus. So like yeah, with with with, with Kavanaugh, and then uh, just. Yeah, blaming you know they had that, that the whole <coughs> thing on TV again. Another media outlet, you know, they're trying to derail the con, you know the, the confirmation of that dude. It's just like holy crap. I mean, it's been nonstop, dude. I mean, what a mind blender. Has you know, has anybody blender. has anybody else noticed? I you know, and I'll 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 just ask the question. Has anybody else noticed a tendency toward gross oversimplification to the point that they lose detail? Like important detail. Oh my god! It's, yeah, it's, well, it's done on purpose, though. It's, yeah, well, yeah. No, I mean, it, so it seems to be the top. It's so over it's the top. lowest common denominator. Yeah. We have to yeah. address just, that. Yeah. No, I just think in terms of you know, it's not just the Dems taking control of Congress. They're not taking control of Congress. They're taking control of the House. And certain things can't happen without the Senate or, or the rest of the organization. I understand. But, I understand. Yeah. No, no, I know you do. But you know, and the, and the, the other thing that comes up is is the uh the the issue with that somebody gets the idea that republicans or conservatives are against immigration nobody's against immigration no. people are against illegal immigration right mm-hmm. well if that vape shop employee was any Dude, indication epic. of what people think they you know they think republicans are racist i mean what do you think about that video guys i mean oh, that, that was, was ridiculous I, I, I've, I've never i mean that He's a That's like a example. real-time freakout. I've never seen yeah, that before. It's a, well, it's a well-programmed individual. It was, yeah. it was pretty impressive. Somebody pushed the right button. and uh, mm-hmm. oh, He flipped. He totally just... just yeah. You really think that was a real situation? I, oh, that's yeah. what I'm oh, yeah. seeing, too. Uh, I'm like, okay. man, I don't... That's a legit question. It, that's it, a legit question, like Felix. Seriously. That it wasn't just staged? <laughs> It could have been. It could, totally could have been. Getting it, could have been it could have been clickbait. <laughs> yeah, you know they could be splitting the proceeds right now. That looks like my vape shop I go to. Where's else, the by money? There? Who's the money? <laughs> the money's uh, the government pays. No the vape shop. No. Oh, the government doesn't yes. pay the vape shop. There's no, <laughs> they pay the vape there's, shop. There's no, I'm saying there's no money in vape. The government's shop. getting it. Well, money. yeah, and and the initial backlash that that vape shop got, like it re, it, uh, it required the guy to go in there and make an apology video for him, like where he was there with the owners totally. and stuff. So I mean that that kind of, I mean if it if it was a whole fake out, then props to him because it was pretty elaborate and pretty good. It was good to try to uh, manipulate somebody for I don't know what gains. But yeah, because I've never seen anything like that yet. Yeah, I mean, in, yeah. Well, no, we have. We've seen it. In well, all the yeah. I remember everyone crying and going berserk. And, yeah, when he yeah. got triggered, he's been covered. yeah. The pit, the yeah, pussy triggered. parade. Yeah, yep. like yep. oh my god, I'm, they were. I'm pretty losing. sure that's exactly what it was <laughs> called too, James. Yeah, <laughs> this is what <laughs> the pussy parade media is doing today. Hat. It was a hat. Kids. Oh, oh, I forgot about a hat. Yeah, <laughs> right. They go through public schools. <laughs> Then they watch CNN their whole <laughs> life, and then they get triggered. And boom! Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, it's like, dude, well, it was, it's just so weird because it's like, I went to public schools. I never really watched CNN, but like, I liked. Uh, not at all. I liked not like I like the Daily Show with John Stewart, and like I like yes. the old Colbert Report, like when they were just rag on Bush and everything. Like those were that, was, that's that's what I remember. Target. Like like Bush seemed like an evil guy. Like that was easy oh, to hate. Yeah. But this right now just seems so muddied. Everything seems so different right now. It's like it wait a so minute. More hateful I'm like Trump. Man. Trump's on the team that I have been against most of my life, or thought I have. Mm-hmm. But the simple fact that everybody in the world hates him makes me think, like, is he doing something right then? For the underdog, though, you know? yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, hang on a second. I got I to gotta, I gotta give you a data point here. It, okay, right? let's hear so, it. You know, in the shoe business, I'm all over the place, right? Yes, exactly. Right. So, so I go to a lot of places, and I am not the best funded guy in the world, so... My boss is. Uh, I'll just say I'll, I'll I'll use a charitable term and say he's a cheap sob. Okay, <laughs> that's the that's the most charitable thing I can say about. Him. <laughs> in any case, so I have to pinch pennies, which means that I have to I have to I have to stay in places that are that are inexpensive. 
Holiday. No, I, you know, I, I, get, I get a part days, of it too, the right? Days in off the highway. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, if there is such a thing as a days in in some of the places that oh, I go to yeah, make yes. shoes, right? So Red roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the red roof. Yeah, that's what the, I was talking the, about. The red, the, <laughs> the red roof for in the jungles, <laughs> in the jungles of Singapore. So I go to some of these places, and and I'm I'm literally like this last year. I went all literally all the way around the world in less than a month. You were and, all over the place. Thanks for all those worldly yeah. downloads. Oh yeah, glad to help. Anyway, I can. <laughs> any, any, any way to any way to put my thumb on the scale, I'm all over yeah. it. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm I'm all over the place, and I have not been. No, let me rephrase that. I've been two places. I've been two places in the last year that people seem to really dislike Trump. That place, those two places are Canada and the United States. (laughs) Every place else that I've ever been seems to love him. I don't. Really? I don't get how he's the laughing stock of the world in air, in air quotes. Uh, but every place I go, I'm and, and so far I've been in, I've been in Australia, uh, Italy, uh, been in France a couple of times. From France was vacation, but it was from like Avignon up to Lyon, and then in Paris. Uh, okay, I know my French geography. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So the middle of the the middle of the country. All right. That's, that's my car. I don't know what's happening. Uh, where else? What the fuck? Oh, Colombia. Oh, I stopped it. Okay. Sorry. You know, I've, 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 I've been I've been a lot of places you, you, this year. Did, and, the, and UA, the UAE, United Arab Emirates. I got a download from there. The Emirates. Oh no, that was oh. that was Abu Dhabi. Okay, Abu Dhabi. Oh my my brother's over there. He might be uh, downloading shit too. But I have not. I haven't run into a single person that have said, what's up with that orange Cheeto asshole? Nobody says that. It's, it's like, I, God, I hope he's successful. <laughs> you wow. Know? Be, uh, wow. I think it could be like education that, that they just teach people that like, Oh, Poland a couple of times. Sorry. Oh that, man. I want to go America's there. bad. And like, we, we got, we're so privileged here. Well, I mean, if you think about it, we don't most a good country. You guys most have water the, and stuff. <laughs> Most they the want problems. us to stop fucking with them. That's the that's the main thing. I would imagine. Like, yeah. Like just just exactly. don't go away. Because <laughs> in in basically yeah. every country around the world, all of your problems are going to stem to the Amer- to America causing them. Like there's it's it's they all failed. just trickle down. Oh, failed's here. Failed, dude. What? Failed. He's not on, here. Man. Turn this damn thing on. Uh, How bad do you hate America? I want to be an American. You want to be an American? <laughs> what? You want to yeah. <laughs> but you, but you yeah, have that great. Me. Yeah. You have, <laughs> no. Jesus. Yeah. No, I yeah. want I want your country to take over my country, so we can all be the same country. I'm sure it'd be pretty easy to do for us. So far, yeah. so far, only Alberta has a chance. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking. Well, I live in Alberta, so come get me, motherfuckers, please. I'm tired <laughs> of this socialist that i live in yeah but dude your prime minister he's he's a drama teacher i mean come on that's got to be pretty cool he's a drama queen <laughs> doesn't it, it that just like extenuates the joke of what Canada <laughs> is that your prime minister was a drama teacher like <laughs> and and a, a a ski coach it's a terrible thing for us yeah <laughs> Dude, he's he's white okay? he's white Obama though. Oh, anyway. Well, or how about this? Uh, how about this Beto O'Rourke? I think they're gonna run him. Uh, run him in twenty twenty. Oh, the Beto guy. Yeah, dude, Beto. He's Obama. he's white. He's white. Obama. And according to that, it's a no agenda Obama. term. He's white yeah, Obama. He will never win. The dude no, it, it's it. impossible. The only one that he could won't. possibly win is Hillary if she's still alive by then. She's no, you dude, know what? Hey, the, the, Obama was. Obama came out of nowhere. That's yeah, dude, true. he was he was elected senator of Illinois in uh, what was it, two thousand six? No, or, yeah. or was it two thousand four? And, and he was a senator. And then yeah, the next he, year, Beto, yeah, Beto, Beto yeah. Rourke isn't anything. Yeah, he didn't. We're not win. gonna have like an AI uh, AI president. I mean, that'd be the best <sighs> to be honest. Not till like thirty one, or fifty, or like whatever. Surrey could be president. So, <laughs> that would be that would be cool because when Sorry. it starts talking shit on Twitter, you could just reboot it. Totally. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah. okay, so I'm going to go back to the list. Okay, so right after the Kavanaugh thing, guess what distracted the, the whole Kavanaugh thing like wait, a couple days after? The MAGA uh, bomber. Hey, I was just... Oh, I forgot about the MAGA bomber. Dude, yeah, the MAGA bomber. The guy sent in all these fucking letters that supposedly yeah. had bombs in them. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly so bombs right. in them. Yeah. Dude, that story <laughs> fell apart because they... they bombs they, through the mail with clocks on them. Yes. I mean, they weren't bombs. <laughs> They're props. Yeah, supposed to be. Props. So, Cliff, we interrupted you for something. Wait, wait. I got something else too. Oh. That oh, dude, they shipped that guy up to New York for trial. Interesting. Why wouldn't they try him in Florida? Why would they ship me up to New York for trial? Because you? <laughs> one reason is that he couldn't have the support of his friends to come in and you know speak on his behalf. I have support of my friends wherever I go. <sighs> You're not him. Yeah. You just said they shipped that guy up to New York for trial. Oh, that guy. Bomber, the yeah. MAGA bomber. Oh. Come on. This guy. Oh, oh, oh that uh, other guy. That other That's guy. A <sighs> yeah. And then guess what guy. happened 48 hours later? Wait, 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 I remember. Don't don't tell me. It was uh, another another hoax. I took a massive crap. That was one thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah was, don't tell me. Don't tell me. It was uh, some kind of white, white supremacist something or other. Oh, the church. It was a church. Yep. You're, you're yeah, right yeah. on point. 40 hours later, another lone gunman appeared and identified as Robert Bowers, a distraught middle-aged social media user who so formed yeah. into the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, PA. Oh, about 11 people. Yeah, Damn. I remember that. Yeah, aside from the talk of anti-Semitism, uh, the Pittsburgh event also helped to propel the issue of gun control back into the headlines ahead of the election. But more importantly, the shooting was used by mainstream media outlets who claimed that somehow Trump, you know, was responsible for the shooting. So it was a bad, it was a was. bad year. It was, <laughs> it a, was bad a bad year for sure. Not even halfway through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got an uh, anti-Semitism uh, in the Labor Party. So uh, was it Jeremy Corbyn? A su- yeah. Prime Minister for uh, the UK. This we're going overseas now. So as a result, the mainstream corporate media established that the Israeli lobby have been working overtime to try and cut down and discredit Corbyn in any way possible. And so basically this guy, the press have accused him from being an IRA terrorist or an ISIS sympathizer. And of course, a a, a Kremlin spy. So it was a full on assault against this guy. All all trying, but clearly failing to paint him as a uh, uh, anti-Semite. So yeah, he. Uh, I've never heard of that guy, but that's what happened with him. Uh, I'll go to keep going. To some, oh, Julian Assange. Julian Assange. Julian Assange. He went through a lot of crap this year. Allegedly. So 20, yeah, if he's yeah, still even allegedly. alive. If he's still alive too, right? Yeah. Walk him. So, walk him to the allegedly podcast. Yeah, exactly. Only. That's the name of this episode. Has Julian Assange like? handed anything of importance in the last two I think years. he stepped outside. Didn't he step outside real, once? I don't think he's a real dude. I don't think it's I oh think my he's God. a whole actor. <laughs> no, I think Assange is probably dead, but his cat is LARPing as him. So it's yeah, like it's, it's like, possible. It, it's, it's like a limited hangout. He's a dude, CIA asset. It's like that um that dude in the Iron Man three or something. Remember the guy that was like the actor? Uh, <laughs> No, it was no, it was that that like I'm the the Mr. viper, Mr. whatever the hell that guy's yeah. name is. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was the he's bomber the guy. Yeah. But that he's was just control. disclosure that he's Osama bin Laden the whole time. <laughs> that, but that movie was disclosure that Osama bin Laden was fake. Right, that yeah. totally you know, like how they just faked everything. Tim Osborne. how the CIA makes all these videos and yep. puts them out. Sorry, but yeah. all I was going to ask was, has Julian Assange constri- contributed anything in documents since what he went to? He started WikiLeaks. I know oh, he started yes. WikiLeaks, but WikiLeaks had something. I haven't heard of WikiLeaks in like WikiLeaks puts out shit all the time. They yeah, they're, they're constantly seven. leaking shit. Vault 7 last year was huge. This is the bigger question. Oh, yeah. Vault has 7. Sorry. Any, has any uh, um, discipline been applied to these crimes not at all exactly i don't think so there's your clue that remember the seth, seth rich shit that for, what was it a, don't forget his name. Snowden. well yeah, yeah Snowden. seth rich you could you could say seth rich that's yeah a, would be discipline applied for that shit totally he got smoked yeah. yeah 
I don't think he was a real dude. I, Mike Mike I Hastings. Not dead. Yeah. Mike Hastings was very definitely a real dude. Don't know who that is. Mike Hastings was uh, the guy that died in that fiery car crash in freaking Pasadena. Mm. Oh, bad. they sent him off a cliff or whatever or something. No, they crashed him into a tree. Yeah, that's well, right. Who yeah. was it though? He was a he was a reporter, uh, and he was getting ready to blow the lid on some some FBI stuff. Yeah, Michael Hastings. Yep. Yeah, like Dave so, McGowan got killed too, didn't he? I know he did die, that he died. I didn't know how he died though. Supposedly. Weird. Supposedly. Oh yeah. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Creator of so, Breitbart Media. Was wait, wait. Me. Do Do you think that the 2018 was the year of the vape? No. Oh, it's huge. Vaping was yeah. huge. Well, the year of vape crushing the vape. 17. Yeah, I think 2017 Cr- was pretty good. It. Yeah, they want to. They really want to crush it. Well, now. dude. That's another story I got to look into. Marlboro, like they changed their name and they bought and they bought Jewel that that they yeah dude they bought it for yeah. billions oh, and billions of dollars. Dude, it was like twenty eighteen was sixty billion dollars or some shit. Yeah, gender <laughs> confusion. <laughs> gender confusion. Okay, so they're definitely making the switch to sell vapes to kids, which is better than cigarettes, I guess. But um, I, agree I was listening with Gary, to Ground Zero. Gender confusion. You listen to Ground Zero, dude. Uh, Ground Zero Radio, and he was he was uh, doing a year in review and yeah. was saying that the the keeping up with your appearances was all about 2018 and people going on mm. apology tours Fuck for uh, apology tours. Yeah, they did. Lewis. Sorry, I groped you in, uh, at that party. <laughs> yeah. I used to listen to Clyde Lewis a lot, and I just cannot take the fear porn. <laughs> oh yeah, it got too extreme and over over time. Yeah. On top of it. Do you like well, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, whatever. That's, Nori. It's I'm, like George Norrie. Like, oh my God, shut up about the Bible. Yeah, he always what's includes that. that? Uh, what's the advertisement he has for uh, the unknown oil or something or other? Yeah, he makes it himself. That? Oh my God, I love those. <laughs> like, he comes he, out of he his these ads, yeah. <laughs> but, but like, it's like this smoke in the bean. <laughs> and they don't tell you what Not it exactly. is. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Felix. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta actually go look into it to find out about this mysterious oil that's gonna like uh, change your life, make your stock options oh, go up, and life tea, life man, tea. Yeah, man, yeah. get the tea, get the tea dot com, get the tea dot com, <laughs> life tea change. Yeah. Um, and go then Jimmy's got his own coffee. He's got his own cafe to black blend. <laughs> yeah, of course, he does. <laughs> He'll be doing the ad, and he's like, and then he'll stop and be like, "Oh yeah, sipping the beat, you know, like whatever." And then go back into the thing. He's sorry, he's eating jalapenos during the break. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> oh, there's another thing. 2018 brought us is the year of the deplatforming. <laughs> yeah, there there you go. True. Yeah, that's that is true. A lot yeah. of people. Alex Jones. First, they took Alex Jones, and then we were you know, slowly seeing the rest follow. <laughs> but I was not Alex Jones, so I said nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they came for Jordan <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> yeah, I forget who was watching today was talking about how there's really nowhere to go because we've let the big tech companies control everything. So <clears throat> if you want to, it was Jason Goodman, I remember. You know, if he, he puts out, if he gets kicked off of Patreon for whatever reason, He's got an alternative channel on Amazon Prime, but you know Amazon could pull the same shit totally easily. And one of the things that's come out about this whole Sargon deplatforming with Patreon is that it looks there's some hints that the payment processors, Mastercard and Visa, put pressure on Patreon to do it, and that's a bigger problem. Yeah, yeah, dude, because that's that's like the main the ways of payments are exerting. <laughs> Uh, their, you know, morality, their ideology on our free speech rights. Or they're getting political. Look at it that way. Yep. Yeah, they're getting political. Great. So, you know, does that mean that if you're a registered Republican next election, MasterCard and Visa may cancel your credit cards? Yeah. Well, the problem is, is there's no monopoly laws on any of these big tech corporations. So it's like they could just, they could buy everything. And then we have no, no there's, choice. there's there's monopoly laws when they get <laughs> when they get certain when they get a certain size the the uh, Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission gets involved. 
and this is ask, this ask ask the yeah. year. You can't own seven companies of the failures yeah. of the Department of Justice. Yeah. Well, and that's also oh, ask, uh, ask that, Uranium One about it. They'll tell you that, about it. But that's assuming that like that's Bezos funny. and uh, and Apple, they haven't already paid off Congress people and everybody else in there to just look the other way. Like I don't know. Well, like, Bezos, Bezos runs the Washington Post and Amazon and Amazon uh, Web Services, oh. of which a part is is the uh, uh, is the FedRAMP cloud, uh, of which part of that is central intelligence leases. It's insane. <laughs> That's so everyone brings it up. So what? That's where they had their data centers. Big deal. Well, it's not just where they have their data centers. Is that? They're it's getting the paid. They're get. They have a. They have a non-trivial investment. The 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 federal government has a non-trivial investment contract with Amazon. Right, but AWS is the largest profitable area within Amazon, so mm-hmm. it's yeah. not going anywhere. No, it's it's not going anywhere. But if the federal government says, what because, what "Hey, uh, we're we're thinking about not renewing your contract and going with Azure." Yeah, right. That's what I would say. <laughs> uh, unless maybe. Unless maybe, uh, you know, you do this thing for us with the Washington Post. I doubt that happens. Yeah, okay. I think it's the other way around. I would imagine. Okay, I don't know about the relationship between the CIA and uh, and AWS, but <clears throat> as far as individual government members, I would say it's more that Bezos has shit on these people. Oh, that yeah. could very well be. Yeah. Now, the CIA may be able to say, hey, ease up on uh, Lindsey Graham and the girl talk, Okay. But <laughs> make you know, make it fun of him for talking like a girl. Uh, <laughs> does he talk like a girl? Oh yeah. Here's a link to Top Lindsey five. Graham. I got right here. Uh, um, uh, oh, I, did I just crush the the vibe? Yeah, I want to do a quick. <laughs> Top top ten. Uh, no, that's, oh, that's Cliff. That's Cliff Wall's job. I'm still going, dude. Uh, so let me do just real quick. This will be quick. Okay. <laughs> That'll be really quick. Top ten uh, Billboard uh, charts uh, music albums of 2018. Really no, quick, we're not going to do this. No, no, no after the on. break, <laughs> we'll do it after the break. Yeah, come on. No, dude, I'm at five. I only got a few more to go. Then you can jam out. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're at five. Five of what? Who knows? I'm just doing. I'm doing a top ten. <laughs> uh, and then he wants to do a top ten, but you Listicles. can do the top ten after mine, dude. Billboard charts. I thought we do a top ten within top ten within a top, top ten. ten well, so you, then, okay, okay. Chris, was right. Right. Yes. Yes. number one. Hold on, now I'm going to do a top ten of your guys's top tens. I dig it. Okay. Take the entire whole universe. We'll do top ten and such. We do six top tens. Let's do the bottom five. Four wall breaks, though. The fourth wall breaks. All right, James, continue. What do you got? What's your next? Well, we were going to link into, well, Jer- Jerry mentioned Lindsey Graham. So there, then this other I- idea of the media just crushing bullshit is when Trump, they just a little bit ago, just before Christmas, Trump attempted to do what no other president has ever done before, which is bring the, these troops back home and shock bring the, the world, home. basically. So. Yeah, he wanted to bring uh, seven thousand troops, you know, seven, you know, out of uh, fourteen thousand that are over in Afghanistan. Um, you know that that um, announcement came as a surprise to even the most uh, are anti interventional interventional interventionists who had uh, all but resigned themselves to and identified U.S. military presidents both uh, overseas locations. Trump's decision tar- triggered and re- re- uh, triggered the uh, resignation of the Defense Secretary, uh, James Mad Dog Mattis, uh, suppo- supposedly in protest. So the military-industrial complex you know, will not let Af- Afghanistan go, go uh, easily. The generals immediately began to disregard Trump's remarks, claiming they were a rumor. On Syria, it only took a week for Trump to backpedal after a desperate intervention from the unhinged neoconservative warmonger. Uh, the Senator Lindsey Graham, who who seems to have uh, convinced the president not to fully withdraw from the illegal occupation in Syria, you know, the bottom line, don't trust the me- mainstream media headlines and certainly don't trust the promise of politicians, no matter how good they sound. So I got a, yeah, I got a comment on this. So, yeah, I mean, pulling the troops home, that's great. Our people are good. Everything's cool. 
But yeah, get them. all all yeah. that's gonna happen is this war is gonna get privatized now. And how's Blackwater gonna be doing? See you later, that guy. Oh, you have a great good, night. good good point, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, be... there's yeah, there's tons yeah. of mercenary groups over there right now. Totally, that's all it is. I think. <laughs> and then we got all our military just living there. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Yeah. And then getting blown up once in oh, a while. Man, that's crazy. Or a helicopter crash. You know, like allegedly. Just... Oh, dude, it happens. <laughs> yeah. here's the problem i have with it though is that uh for so long we've had a media that was anti-war and mm-hmm. now as soon as trump wants to pull all the troops out they're all war hawks i don't yeah. understand this at all yeah oh you you That's- mentioned you're you're right on point remember just when he was they were bitching that he he was staying at the white house for um christmas right Guess yeah. what? He shows up in fucking Afghanistan, and then they're bitching about him showing up in Afghanistan. Like yeah, you can't, can't do that. You can't win, like, well, dude. What, like, what not even, not even if he's trying to win. He's just doing what logic would say to do. Go visit the troops, man. You know, you know, like it's that's a heartfelt thing. And dude, they appreciated it. He was there. Yeah, I know. Jerry's like. Dude, he was just down the street at the place with the, some some guys. <laughs> like he never. No, I don't. I, I yeah. don't know what he did. You know. And yo, what was funny? Okay, I got a story that I just just happened uh, uh, Sunday. Um, I'm I'm hanging out at my parents' house. We go out there because it was like my last Christmas event. I only I did like three of them this year, so we're hanging out at my parents. My brother is on a laptop. In Afghanistan at Qatar, <laughs> and we're watching the Browns game together. We're hanging out because he's on like fa- uh, sc- uh, FaceTime or whatever, and, and um, so we're hanging out. And then my mom mentions that, or my mom and Cindy, my wife, you know, they start talking about uh, Conan O'Brien being over there. You know, like people go and visit there, uh, and uh, Conan O'Brien. And he, my brother's like, what? He wasn't there. <laughs> like I didn't see him there. And he, but like, why would my brother know that Conan O'Brien wouldn't be there? And then it got even bigger. It's Conan O'Brien and um Michelle Obama. <laughs> like he's like, you would definitely know if Michelle Obama would be here. You know, like he's like, I never saw them at all. And this would have been like a couple of days before. <laughs> he's like, it doesn't he's like, that was kind of weird too. So but I guess the, he says that, or they they say they go. They've been going like for like four years. Them two over there, and and the whole thing became known because my brother started talking. He's like, "Oh yeah, man, we got um D, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff coming <laughs> for the Fresh Prince." <laughs> remember, remember that the band, yeah, or not the band, the group or whatever, Will there Smith, yeah. He's like, DJ Jazzy Jeff is coming. <laughs> and that's how the whole thing spawned off. I was like, do you ever have anybody else coming? And my, yeah. And then, oh, I think Conan O'Brien. Yeah. So that's how that went. But was that USO tour or something? Yeah. One of those type of deals. But my brother's like, I fuck, there went nobody. <laughs> Which is so weird. He's, unless he totally missed it. I don't know how, but he's pretty high up and stuff over there. It doesn't make sense. Like, like he wouldn't know that fucking Michelle Obama's there. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, they keep it secret. It's a big secret, like the secret about Khashoggi. <laughs> oh, is that next <laughs> on the list? Khashoggi. I'm back to the list. Yeah, oh, you good believe transition. everything you've heard from the mainstream press and the CIA oh, on October 2nd. Jamal Khashoggi, a well known journalist and uh, occasional critic, uh, walked into the country's uh, you know, consulate in Istanbul and then he was supposedly murdered. And his body had been uh, hacked into pieces by a bone saw before the crime scene was uh, cleaned by, by a uh, Saudi version of the uh, Harvey uh, Keitel and Pulp Fiction. <laughs> just like, nice this guy up and get him out of here. And it was all recorded. Totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we can't, we're not allowed to hear the recording. Nope. No. Totally and supposedly. Supposedly, totally, like... And Maybe allegedly. Top-ranking officials, top-ranking officials in the government have heard the recording, but won't comment. But on won't it. comment on it, or comment on its existence. Oh, Khashoggi, yeah. Uh, rest in peace, bro. Yeah, we talked about it for three months. I hope that was enough. Peace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, uh, 
highly intelligent, a uh, highly illegal military operation started by Barack Obama in 2015. Uh, so, and every week it seems like uh, that the Turkish media is is drip feeding possible evidence like the secret unreleased photos or the grainy CCTV de- uh, depicting something which might be uh, construed as evidence. And all in all, in an effort to shore up the official conspiracy theory, but still not definitive. So the murder of Khashoggi may not may not a a game you know may not be a game of clue but it certainly resembles one and they're still waiting for the body to turn up <laughs> this way, I, I, so i have a question about the whole Kush- Kush- yeah. thing. what was the end goal was it to show that the uh mainstream media could also make crazy conspiracy theories or uh, was there a point to this I, I like that idea that you just said i mean that the, there was I, no there was no uh, laws enacted because of it. There was no, there's nothing happened because of this other than the mainstream media made a crazier conspiracy theory than we could come up with. Dude, yeah, every one of us in our towns right now could come up with this crazy story just like that. Why wouldn't it matter? And then you could just make it into just a worldwide fucking thing. It, it, yeah, I totally dig what you're saying. They're just. It, it's shock and awe. It's fear porn. You know, and, you know like, it, t- it ties in. You up, bro. It yeah, ties like, into the whole narrative of Trump saying how the media is the enemy of the people, and you know, it's it's because of his uh, words like this. He's he's letting reporters get killed on his watch, and just it's oh, yeah, it's, all, it's all it's all the spin, you know. Yeah, that, all because the spin. the spin was like uh, the the CIA, like the well timed announcement, you know. Uh, fingering the Saudi crown prince uh, Mohammed bin Salam, you know, as the man who ordered the, the gruesome killing uh, was used then to corner Trump, who was attempting to salvage a, you know, a lucrative U.S. arms deal with uh, the kingdom. So why is Trump doing business with the murderer? Crowded the headlines. Aside from uh, slating the Saudi that. Uh, Saudi Arabia and the global court of public opinion, basically, you know, so yeah, I mean, fuck, like <laughs> why, oh, yeah. why would he, why would he make a deal with Saudi Arabia? Cause that's your only fucking industry selling totally war. selling arms to f- these fucks. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> smart you move on Trump's part, I think. <laughs> we'll sell you our old shit that don't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, this next one, uh, it does, it's just Russian meddling, of course. That was a long, drawn-out thing oh, for months and months and months until the Parkland going. shooting, basically. <laughs> it was going on yeah, forever. It'll it'll come back. Uh, so the, the I'm going to skip down to number one. Rest in peace, the liberal world order. Uh, of course, the big ticket item uh, has to be the one with uh, challenges ending the post uh, post World War Two, you know, world order. Even Donald Trump was sworn in early 2017. The globalist establishment has have been com- commiserating in their various journals of record about the end of the liberal world order, and they all seem to be blaming in on the uh, blaming on the absurdity of Donald Trump, who they believe is a a butterist by or a butcher buttressed by the alt-right and Vladimir Putin, all of who are hell bent on dismantling 70 years of progress and all the various uh, multi-terial international institutions stating with the UN. So the narrative goes on and on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. What, oh, goes. The problem with the, the world is changing. Order. Yeah, the world is changing at, ra- at ra- and rapidly. Granted, it is not clear that whatever replaces the current world order will be any better than its predecessor. But unless we are honest about why the old order no longer fit the, for the purpose, then there is less chance that any real progress is going to be made going forward. Let that be the underlying lesson of this this past year. Yeah, how do you move forward? You know, oh. That is a makes. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, I think the the problem with the new world order is that um, Trump didn't want to do it anymore, so he 
he cut ties with the Paris Climate Accord, cut ties with the United Nations, just kind of said, we're going to do our own thing. Then that fell onto the lap of my illustrious prime minister, Justin sure. Trudeau, who yeah. has made it turn into a laughing stock shit show. So, yeah, we we <laughs> we took the reins of that new world order and, and we're fucking it up every day. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 tough call. Hey, hey, you, Canada. Just scream, you just got to scream into a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to scream out loud. Yeah. In my that, safe space. Help. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, the girl in, uh, stranger things when she like screams. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. But season three is coming out in July, I think, or June. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Ah! those kids are all going to be looking awkward. Yeah. Oh, season, season four of the magician starts at the end of this month. So that's yes. kind of cool. When what else we got of, for- uh, cruising with steak? Uh, I think season two just started. No, season two's in July. If we're going uh, yearly seasons, mistake. yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's was, that's my list on that. I don't know. Okay, Felix, you want to jam, dude? Oh sure. Yeah, you want to jam out, and then we can do some more stuff and go over a bunch of. I got more stuff too. So you always got more stuff, James. You're the I got man tons of, of you're shit, the man dude. of plenty. Anybody can get shit. Just look something up, and we'll talk about it. Oh, Heck number yeah. one uh, album uh, on Billboard. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Was Taylor Swift Reputation? Yeah, that I I think I knew that one actually. <laughs> I don't even remember any songs from that. No. Was that Shake It Off or was that like two years ago? Shake It Off. <laughs> yeah. I think it was uh, Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Yeah, the song was terrible. <laughs> oh, that's no, it's world renowned now. Oh, guys. Oh, I wanted to say uh, the movie Akira. Right. The the movie Akira. It takes place in 2019. So oh, R.I.P. No. Uh, R.I.P. Neo Tokyo. Anybody oh gets it. That went over my head. Yeah. Oh god. I'll go over my media consumption after all this later on. <laughs> is there a list of uh upcoming movies and TV series that are continuing for 2019? I don't know. Look oh, I'm up. sure so there's tons of lists. I bet James yeah. Cruz has one taped to his remote. Fucking listicles, Ooh. dude. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah. And listicles like, are like testicles. They're just eight, everywhere. Eight point, he's got an eight point font. Tape to the eight back point of five. eight point font on the back of my out, remote. Let me pull out my TV guide that I still subscribe to. Well, I finished. Uh, <laughs> I f- I finished um, Travelers. I finished that, dude. How about that ending, Jer? Hey, Holy hey, don't fuck! That's or did you I, I, watch have, I haven't yeah. watched it. Yet. Oh my god! I have been dude, binging dude. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, Ooh, what's that? The Flash and so. Oh. Yeah, the all right. I just yeah. finished binge watching Travelers like two days ago. Oh man, how about the ending of three, dude? Well, we'll talk about it when when I know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, I'm stoked. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, I can't wait to hear. It. Are you, are you gonna do your new song, Felix? Oh, uh, this is just a cover song. Oh, okay, okay, right on. Is that okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, wonderful. Hey, yeah. I see a harmonica around your neck, so I'm already. Oh, happy. I know, dude. I'm he's he's gonna be killing it in a minute. I gotta get the uh, levels right. Get those levels. This one goes out. This one goes out to, to Lamb. <laughs> oh, sorry. Who it goes to? How to? Go- to Lamb. Oh, to Lamb. Oh. Love that guy. Yes, it's he another, went. He went down to Louisiana. Oh, and there's so many. I, yeah, I, I have a whole list of people I want to thank for sure. You want to do that yeah. right now? No. That that. Oh well, shit. Oh, <laughs> you, you nah, go ahead no no you play okay so this is just a little uh, bob dylan song i got the harmonic out uh if you want to mute down fail to keep mute down he is muted okay here it goes it's called the song's called i want you um hopefully this year we get all that we want and we get all that we need first and foremost you get all that you need then hopefully you get all that you want in the coming year. This is a little song for all you out there in podcast land. Here we go. Can, we, can you guys give me a thumbs up if you can hear the guitar and vocals? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Here we go. I just muted myself down. Okay, here we go. (laughs) 
taking sides. Lonesome organ kind of cries. The silver saxophone said I should refuse you. The crack bells and washout horns blow into my face with scorn. But it wasn't that way I wasn't born to lose you. Honey, I want you. Dun, 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 I want you. Dun, 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 I want you. So bad. Honey, I want you. Dun, 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 I want you. Dun, 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 I want you. So bad. Honey, I want you. Drunken politician leaps out into the street where mothers weep and the saviors who fall fast asleep, they wait for you. And I wait for them to interrupt me drinking from my broken cup and ask me to open up the gate for you. Honey, I want you. I want you. I want you. So bad. All their fathers, they go now, true love, they've been without it. All their daughters put me down, cause I don't think about it. Oh, well, I return to the queen of spades, talk to my chambermaid. She knows that I'm not afraid to look at her. Oh, when she is good to me, there's nothing that she doesn't see. She knows exactly where I want to be, but it doesn't matter. Honey, I want you. I want you. I want you. It's so bad. Honey, I want you. I want you. I want you. You dance a child with his Chinese suit. He spoke to me, I took his flute. I wasn't very cute to him, or was I? But I did it because he lied. Because he took you for a ride. His time was on his side. And because I, honey, I want you. That was great. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wild. Oh my god, that was epic. That was I came, I came really through good. really good too. The guitar it didn't did. get uh it yeah. didn't get all muffled down. That was you did something oh, with the mixing there. Smooth, it came through nice. Bro. Yeah. It's really good. Thanks, man. I have the craziest synchronicity with that. Uh oh. there's a oh, line yeah? in there where he says the drunken politician leaps out into the street. <laughs> so like the moment that I was like, I was actually practicing that song probably like four or five years ago and someone had on family guy. Oh my God. And like the, the mayor of Quahog was like, West? I don't know. I don't think he was drunk or anything, but he like jumped like off the sidewalk <laughs> into the street. The moment I sang the drunken politician leaps. And then like, I saw that and I was like, yeah, that's pretty weird. Synchro. <laughs> But it was like one of those like earth shattering ones where I was like, oh my gosh, there's more to the world than, <laughs> than meets the eye. You start seeing the code. That yeah, was bizarre. <laughs> Dude, that was so smooth, man. That was freaking rad. Yeah, I, I, I forgot the words right at the beginning, so I, I held the chord a little long. long it's all long. good. Freaking really nice. Oh, man. Yeah, time's Ooh. flying, dudes. Um, time is flying. That's what happens. You got something, Grim? No, nah, I got nothing right now. You got nothing? All right. Uh, I mean, I could probably pull something up. 
I mean, I got, I have stuff. <laughs> I got, I, dude, let's go in the, in the meme land. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about memes? Dude, dude, fuck yeah, man. Top memes of the fucking year, dude. <laughs> dude, let's go with the American Chopper argument. <laughs> the meme. That was a good meme. Yeah, the, the three pictures? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's like, um, what was, what was that all about? I didn't get that one. The, the American Ch- Okay, this meme holds up even when you, you don't even know the source of the material as the case with the American <laughs> Chopper argument. You might know this better as a strip of uh, five still frames depicting a man with an impressively gray mustache uh, gesticulating irately at a younger man in a cap who ends up throwing a chair in anger. These uh, figures apparently are uh, Paul, blah, 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 you know, the guys from that. So and everyone could just pair in arguments about it. Yeah. So like in this picture, it's it's senior than and then okay, he's saying unexpected item in the baggage area. Then uh, little uh, little Paul um, uh, Paul says uh, I didn't put anything in there. Then uh, <laughs> then oh, God damn it, I got it. it's opening. Son of a bitch. Oh. So these guys are like the motorcycle. Uh, yeah, American Chopper. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. I see those the, every time I every time I saw that meme, I would just like my eyes would kind of gloss over. And I, yeah. oh, there were some good ones. I don't remember there, the next one though. The baby shark meme. I don't remember baby, baby shark. shark. Can you play it, Grim? Play it. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You have the. Uh, yeah. Pink fong. Pink fong. Pink fong. Comes. Oh yeah. There's a little thing in the front. Is yeah. this a song? I think uh-huh. so. Check this. You'll remember it if you hear if you've heard this before. I don't think I've ever heard this. I've heard it. Okay, I don't know what this is. We're not doing That's this That's what anymore. it does. It's just that shit over and over. Then it's daddy shark. Do, 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 mommy shark. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a mind bender. Uh, that's a meme. The, the, yeah, I guess that was a meme. I didn't, I didn't catch oh, that yeah. meme. That meme yeah. didn't make it to I mean, our channel. I heard the song before for sure. This is a good one though. The Stephen Crowder "Change My Mind" sign. It's that's, totally the sign. Yeah, that's a great one. It's a good Change meme. Change my mind sign. What else we have? Distracted boyfriend oh, is that, meme. Is that, is that where he's sitting at a table? Yeah, where he's yeah. sitting at the table. Like the one they have on here. It, it says male privilege just a myth. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I mean, God, if anybody wants, you got to join our think, the Discord, uh, the, dude. The biggest trend in memes that I noticed was oh. the uh, the stock photo. Uh, yeah, the, well, that's part. Yeah, photo. that was like, the, I should have mentioned that. That right. was like and the first one. The biggest stock photo I want to remember is the guy walking with his girlfriend. Yes, the distracted photo. boyfriend. The, yes. That was our next one, the distracted <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> no, I didn't know you were on the list. I'm sorry. No, that was, that's good. The guy from uh, Star Trek with like the, the his hand on his uh, head. No, no. This is the one, the dude in the plaid, the blue plaid shirt with the red, there's a girl in a red shirt and a blue shirt. And then he's just looking back at her ass basically with her, with yeah. his girlfriend. And then everyone just puts like the best stuff ever. In there. <laughs> yeah. Is it just about like uh, the meme is then that everyone puts something. About I, something I mean, yeah, they're saying that like, this is possibly the biggest meme of 2018. Uh, the distracted boyfriend who sex is largely down to its glorious versatility yeah. the meme consists there's a of ton of these on here james we're not going through all these <laughs> i'm not i know but it just, I was I'm, just, just I'm scrolling i'm scrolling origin, endlessly the origin of the story bro that's good stuff what the hell how how did we go from that to moth memes that's what i don't know the oh, moth, moth, i don't moth even memes know were great. moth is old it was resurrected dude epic handshake epic handshake yeah, epic the, handshake was awesome. shakes good yeah. the two like the two giant arms, uh, arm rest, or uh, the white and the black yeah. arm coming together. Yeah, rap uh, versus punk. Not calling the police. <laughs> there you go, Felix. Uh, uh, I, know, uh, I know that one. I, the the arm flossing. One. Yeah, flossing. Yeah. Now that kid wants to sue Fortnite produce uh, creators. The yeah, the backpack flosser. This is the. Well, it's no gritty. I guess that was one. That's a template one. It's two things oh, coming it, together. Th- is this question mark one? Yeah, with the with the moth and the yeah. <laughs> oh, with is the kid re- and the butterfly, the anime kid. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah. 
Oh, Kiki, do you want me? The Kiki challenge where they oh, jump out of the one. car and they do the Kiki thing? Uh, Teresa May dancing to all, stuff. All we need to go through post. is... Uh, all we need to do is go through all the meme uh, channel and see what Ryan oh. posts. Based. Well, yeah, shout That's out exactly to Ryan it. from Kansas. He's he's a great guy. And uh, There's actually a website. <laughs> I forget the name of it, but they have the official pictures for the memes. The first ever, like, officials? Well, yeah. Like, they're the the authority yeah. on what memes pictures are yeah. used and stuff like that okay. or Not laurel real hmm? the life so like the wikipedia of memes how's it <laughs> i got a piss this is great now the cell phone is like it's like four dinosaurs trying to eat each other and they're like now the cell phone it's like just living in the moment absolutely beautiful wish we could go back <laughs> <laughs> that's insane jesus <laughs> <laughs> Let me, that made me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, oh, this. Okay. What about, what about the sarcophagus, the sarcophagus liquid, liquid challenge? challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? Oh shit! Oh, shit. Is that, that failed? Failed, failed? Failed has an echo going. Boom shakalaka. Boom shak. Oh no, no I, I muted it. <laughs> okay. Tide pods weren't the only poisonous thing that we wanted to drink this year. That All the sarcophagus? Year? Yeah, sarcophagus <laughs> yeah. liquid? In July, archaeologists found a sarcophagus full of several decomposed bodies plus a lot of mysterious reddish liquid. <laughs> Photographs made the rounds online. People responded in the only way they knew how with a change.org petition to let them drink the weird juice. <laughs> Man, oh, it's so great! And then, given the liquid was, uh, was identified as mainly sewage, probably more likely a very upset stomach. Um, <laughs> yeah, and dude, I mean, God, oh, and then you end it with Laurel and Yanni. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah. Laurel, Yanni, Laurel, Yanni, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and uh, that's my uh, stupid meme list. Boom, listed uh, up. Yeah, and then I mean I gotta I gotta uh we can just um we can do a reflect and then get excited list. Uh, uh, you know if you had to describe your 2018 in three words, what would it what would it be? Three words. Yeah. Our, our own words? Yeah. Yeah, this mm. is going to be our own stuff. This is our own now. Uh, Three words. I was sick Fuck. all of October, so sick. 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 <clears throat> happy. I had happy. Yeah. Sick, happy, and in chill. I'm supposed mm. to just come up with these on my own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just everyone just, yeah, like three, three words. Uh, get rid of chill. I'll be okay. sick, happy, and uh, I mean, it's not, this isn't anything. This is just you can just say it. I'm not writing them down or anything. It's no, I, like I'm a, writing them down. This is serious. Oh, this is serious. Oh, okay. shit. I, I actually was writing them down. <laughs> I just didn't want to make it like a thing, but this is actually pretty. Uh, Three words that sums up 2018 Felix. sick, happy, and steak. Ooh, yeah, there's some steak in there. Hmm. Yeah. Um, we all definitely hit a brick it. wall with this one. Yeah, man. This, this is this is something you should have it's totally said. Yeah, man. You should have yeah. said this before. Uh, I know. I should have. For some pre-show, uh, we might have we might have to to cycle back to this at some point. Yeah, it might be a good thing to do. And, you know, and they. It's like a 50 kind of, and not that we're going to go through 50 of them, but it's just, you know, like the next one would be like, what or who are you most thankful for? You know, that could be an easy, like, I'm, I'm thankful, thankful for, for thankful for all you guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was going to say, thankful for community. I was, you mm-hmm. know, like, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm, th- God, yeah, that list could be long too. I mean, it's like, uh, you but know, you what things did one. you discover about yourself this year? You know, like what oh, I got this little- mole. I got this mole on like the back of my like, <laughs> leg. There you go, dude. You I know what know single it. achievement are you most proud of? I did. Uh, I I did do more reading than I usually do this year, so that kind of felt good. That's good, little, dude. Yeah, I had a little bit of book time. Right. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you did get a, book, a couple books. I think. 
Do you get sleepy when you read? No, because yes. I try not to. I try not to read when I know I'm going to be sleepy because then I'm not going to comprehend mm. anything. I'm just gonna have to keep yeah. going back. It has to be like a full blown mood to read. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I I read some Dungeons and Dragons books. Ooh, yeah, That's yeah been book. been a lot of D and D this year. A lot of anime. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm reading Shakespeare's Tempest right now. I'm like three. It's a play. Caliban. Calibanos. Yeah, Caliban. I'm into it. What was the best news you received? Hmm. None. 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 Yeah. Nothing. Nada. Uh, so. I, no, no news is good show. news. No, no agenda news. Show was good. Huh? Yeah. No agenda show was good news. George W. Yeah, Bush news. died. That's good. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. That was intense. <laughs> that was intense. I saw James scrambling for the loudest sound bite he could get. <laughs> oh yeah. What, what was that? I looked down and I saw boom two and I hit it. <laughs> when, when, that guy, when that guy was talking, what was that? Uh, the, your car starting up sound effect. <laughs> oh, you like that one, dude? That's that's a great one. Oh, that was just the uh, car won't start. <laughs> it seemed accidental. I don't know why it won't stop. Let's see how long it goes. We could do that. That's pretty long. But then uh, this is like one of my favorites. But you got to really find a good spot to put it. In. It's just like. <laughs> oh, I- I, I went. I started listening to that Aeon Bite uh, podcast. Oh, oh, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude. Miguel does a pretty good job. He's uh, he's like got a nice like show. Work, work play and uh, the just this his, I, I, his his intros just crack me up sometimes. <laughs> like I, I just die laughing at him. Dude, this is gonna be a tough one for me. What was your favorite place you visited in 2017 or 2018? Sorry. Uh, oh, man. oh my god. Yeah, you went I all think, over the place, James. Yeah, I know. Like I had such I mean, God, that's gonna be tough. I, know, I, I go I, anywhere. Oh, I went to Michigan. We went to Oregon. That yeah, I know. That's what I mean. I think that would probably be it, just because it was where it was. And yeah, and like the views and the uh, yeah, the amount of people. I I don't know. I think that I would say probably that. I mean, that was a huge trip flying out there. Fucking, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sitting on a couch with James Cruz was the highlight of my year. Totally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool, dude. I mean, just me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, dude. How cute. Precious. Oh, man. Big hugs to fucking this dude over here. Oh, my God. Don't be jealous. You could have came too. Uh, I'm not jealous. I got my James Cruz time of this your year. Personal qualities turn out to be the most helpful this year. Oh man, I got what, nothing there. Skills? Yeah, listening skills. There we go. Yeah, good listener. Yeah, I mean, do that one again. Which of your uh, personal qualities turned out to be the most helpful this year? Oh, I'm just, I'm just so humble. So being humble all year. So. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Not to brag. Uh, my resilience to continue like a cockroach. Ooh, all right, I like that, dude. Yeah. yeah, like a cockroach. Yeah. Yeah. Like a cock. Who was your number one go to person that you could always rely on? James Cruz. Oh, dude, fuck Cruz Day. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt about it, dude. Yeah. Hey, is this scripted? No. <laughs> I mean, these are actually really like telling to a person's uh, well, soul I'm power. Say Jerry Cusulu, then. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say failed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what new skills did you learn um what did i learn this year i don't think i learned anything this year did you learn a new a slice <laughs> nah, dude. i learned a new regiment on how to improve myself by working out that was good mm-hmm. oh yeah like a plant yeah you have a plant yeah uh me hmm. i don't know uh, for me, I, I've been mixing music. Jerry's been lathing. Yeah, Jerry. I mean, Jerry started a whole new career. <laughs> <laughs> Just a new hobs, legends. I've been mixing music a lot, and I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit better at mixing music. Yeah, you're. Still. I'll I'll throw your new track on the end of this uh this this 
the show. So get that. We'll get that out there. Pass it off to you. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could do that. Oh you give me God. a pass off. Dude, this one is crazy. Okay, what one event are you, you know, would or are you going to tell your grandchildren about? Huh. That uh George W. Oh. Bush died. <laughs> George, yeah, and that uh all Back the uh twenty eighteen it was epic. We had Bush die. We had Well we when had they start God. teaching in the history books about how Donald Trump is the worst president in the world and all this right. stuff. You know, we and can we go can back say and say it wasn't bullshit. really like that. <laughs> yeah, it's totally lies. <laughs> yeah. That's actually probably a good point. They're going to try to spin that shit any way they oh, can. Dude, he's going to go, yeah, no matter what happens, yeah. he's going to go down he's in the history like, books. They might as well put it like a, a Hitler stain. mustache on him. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? He could he could get the Russians to denuclearize and they would still spin it as a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I just love well, his whatever. tweets. Yeah. The ship, the ship posters, president. I love what it. I tell my just kids, tweeting out man. in all caps at eight a.m. this morning at the world. <laughs> all these hungover p- libs are just picking up their phone, getting so upset seeing that. Two thousand eighteen. <laughs> the Browns finally out? broke the losing streak of three games in three years. They've only oh, there won. you go, there you go, James. Yeah. That's a happy. That's a happy one. Yeah, let's try to do it cruising mistake style. Something happy, <laughs> but it's hard to do because there's so much garbage out there. You know. Uh, you know what's hilarious. Yeah. We were we were talking about football up here. Um, yeah. In in Scandinavia, and <laughs> we were laughing at. They were laughing because they were like, "Who's even a Cleveland's Browns fan?" And I was like, "I know <laughs> one. I do know one. I yeah, know buddy. one of the fans. Yeah." And they're like. Are you fucking serious? I'm like, I know a guy that lives in Cleveland and likes them. And he's like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, eh? <laughs> wow, eh? <laughs> you know, we really we really should just absorb Canada already. Because I couldn't tell you, you know, like, one one team on the Canadian Football League. The like, it's, it's, it's very biased around here. <laughs> nice, James. Nice. You want to hear them all? No, that's all right. I told it's it's okay. No, I think I know. I got I got That's DC probably Lions, but... Edmonton Eskimos, Calgary Stampede, Winnipeg Blue Bombers, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Toronto Argonauts, Montreal Alouettes. And... Alouettes, yeah, that's the other one I knew. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Or in Ottawa Renegades. There we go. How does the season roll with those eight teams or whatever? They play once a week for. Okay. okay. They play for uh, all of the summertime, and they probably play like twenty games all year. And then it's the best. You know what? <laughs> the playoffs <laughs> is um, only two teams don't go to the playoffs. So. So you guys don't have like a a giant ritual Super Bowl at the end of it, do you? Yeah. <laughs> the Great Cup, buddy. The Great Cup. It's called. The great the gray cup the yeah. gray cup the gray cup yep. oh man there you go i know a little bit about it i mean i don't i didn't know there was that few of teams i thought there would be more teams than that but, but football is football uh, man smash heads the, yeah the entire list is all of the main um the major cities in canada That's okay yeah. oh man okay how about what was the biggest breakthrough moment career wise? Failed. You got, yeah, you lost a job in one day and got another one in one hour. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, so four hours, actually. I'm four hours. Hour. It, was, yeah. it was four hours. Fire, not fired, but let go and rehired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, my biggest career breakthrough. Man. I mean, my biggest career breakthrough was the realization that maybe I shouldn't have all my eggs in the mm. oil basket because <laughs> everybody yeah. hates oil right now oh kind of like thinking yeah like hmm <laughs> like i've got a job forever and then what i was saying green everything like well <laughs> yeah oh pretty soon they're gonna shut us down <laughs> yeah uh let's see uh how did your relationship to your family evolve whoa Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. 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 It really got nothing there. Uh, yeah, relationship involved your family. I don't know. Just growing closer, more love, more hugs. Um, I think, I think mine devolved. Oh, my parents think I'm crazy. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I don't see my parents a lot. I see my in-laws uh, all the time. <laughs> Plus, they're like totally like the vape shop dude about Trump. Right. Oh, oh they're like that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's why they think you're tough. crazy. Get over it. it. Uh, okay, so we'll move on. Um, what book or movie affected your life in a profound way? That's an interesting one, too. Hmm. I mean, I take that stuff as just consumption. I mean, I might take a grain of salt of it once in a while and be like, man, that's interesting, you know, but... Hmm. I haven't really, I mean, I don't, I haven't read a book, you know, that's gotta be th- that and uh, getting in shape. Like, re- yeah, like Grim said, like he did earlier this year was read a book. Um, he read one book all year. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, at least he did it. I mean, I didn't even <laughs> do it. Yeah. Like, I, I haven't read a book in five years. Right. Yeah. It's like, I haven't over. picked up a book in forever, dude. Like, do you read just haiku or what? No, he was, uh, you were reading. No, I read uh, I read Chaos Protocols. Chaos Protocol, book. yeah. And that one that that uh, that was that's a good. heavy read. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it wasn't no, too it's bad. Not a heavy not, read. No, it's, it's like not heavy. No, it's not heavy. Pages long. No, well, yeah. The but idea of it, I think, is heavy. I think in the beginning of the year, I read uh, Cloud Atlas. That was a pretty good one. Holy shit! That's yeah. Cool. And that was last year. I read uh, Gravity's Rainbow, which is like a freaking huge, taxing Damn. book. Uh, and they making that movie. <laughs> I like Cloud Atlas a lot. I read yeah. that. Was was Tom Hanks in that book? <laughs> was isn't Tom Hanks doing uh, Mr. Rogers? Oh, is he? Are they gonna do a Mr. Rogers movie? He's gonna play Mr. Rogers. Oh my Mr. god! Rogers biopic. <sighs> Whatever he's in is gonna be good. Uh, what was the best complaint that you received this year? Oh my god! That yeah. sounds like an oxy. Just my voice. I talk too much. We didn't even get any hate mail, really. We need some more hate mail. Yeah. Send us some hate mail, guys, if anybody's even yep. listening. Yep, yeah, I'll be on it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's been a very long shit. time. We should play the jingle. We need to do it's some segments cool. sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done a segment in a We're long time. We're doing segments basically right now. Uh, what little things did you most enjoy during your daily life? What little thing? That's pretty broad. Uh just like little things like flossing your teeth. You know what I like doing, dude? I love cleaning my ears out <laughs> with Q-tips. <laughs> yeah, I love that. that dude, that. I constantly, anytime I walk by the linen the closet, I grab a Q-tip. Do you put and it in the like, feeling, feeling you get? Oh, you dude, it? yeah. Like, I don't jam it in there. Oh, dude, you got to get it real deep and you got to hit your brain. That's the best way to do it. You got to go oh, deep with it. Are. That's where the I massage the shit out of my brain when I do. Yeah, man, oh, Get, to where you're getting just straight <laughs> I tingles. I massage my just, brain. <laughs> just, just tingles down your spine. Your you're hitting the spots. The ear, <laughs> the ear lobe opening oh. opens up, so it can get to my brain for me. It's, so it's actually it's an orgasm. It's in a the orgasm. Yeah. genuine Woo. orgasm. Well, that's that's crazy stuff when you see like those videos of people getting spiders taken out of their ears and shit. Like that's, I don't know, man. Spiders in your ears, you, crickets in your ears. You'd, you'd think you'd feel that. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be. You ever had? <clears throat> you ever had somebody tickle your ear with a feather or something? You feel that. So how yeah. do you not feel a cricket in your brain? Oh, I'm sh- I'm sure they feel it. It's gotta it's gotta feel crazy. Oh, just or maybe so it feels weird. so good and we're missing out. That's what. Maybe, I mean. maybe I'll put some crickets in my ears tonight. <laughs> I want one of those big ass grub worms. Yes. Tapeworm. Right, right under my cheek. Yeah. Oh, how about um what did you think about more than anything else this year? That's pretty heavy. Um, Grim steak. Oh guys are too sweet. Man, what did I think about? I think making music for me a lot. Thinking about making think music about a lot. More? Probably just what's going on in 
dude guys i've i've watched way too much anime this year because somehow all my answers are just coming up with that but i'm like i'm not just gonna say that again (laughs) anime anime yeah probably watching anime right now (laughs) no dude i I can't i can't it'd be going through the stream everybody everybody would hear japanese like i can't watch it right now um what, is, what did you most enjoy that's learning nice about? I mean, that's kind of like the other one. Uh, Boy, go back to the last one. What did you think about more than anything else? Yeah, the whole year. In the whole year, it like uh, it probably is, it most likely would be like a worry. That like oh, I mean, yeah, I was just that's what I'm saying. My family, like my dude, I worry. Okay, the the house stuff, dude. That I house mean, stuff how, that that dude, took a lot stuff, of energy out of you. Like three months of just it was. Oh yeah. yeah a long period of time yeah. of complete stress yeah that was that was some, that was some vampire shit right there just no sucking doubt. all your energy i mean i don't know a lot about them but i know they're a thing and i know stress is heavy and it's it does ether. weird things <laughs> that's the thing that consumes your mind the most is just worry it's the <laughs> ether oh, it, it is it's in the ether it's out there and i'm putting the bad vibes out into myself which creates which turns around and then uh creates me not crazy it's a uh, feedback shapes group. me into a fucking 40 year old dude that gained 18 pounds because he just constantly eats and sits on the couch and watches uh and binge watches netflix uh amazon prime and hulu no i don't have hulu and, and just a cool other service i that i have available and um just James, I, 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 James I, I don't know. TV. I'm like, I get in these funk, you know, I think we all get in funks once in a while. And this oh, yeah, man. past six months or so, it's just been a, just a weird time. And Dude, like, my, my Twitter, my, my Twitter algo knows I'm in funks. It's given me uh, promoted tweets for dating apps now. And I'm like, oh, how's my Twitter? I was like, how does my Twitter know about my loneliness? <laughs> What's going on here? No way. Oh. Well, wouldn't it be nice to just like go through your life like every day thinking about how happy you were? Yeah, yeah I mean, you you try to do that like you were talking about earlier, tough. Felix. When you wake up like that, you know, you, you watch that video of this guy. Yeah, you wake up and you look in the mirror and say, "I'm gonna be the best day ever," you know, or whatever. Like like me with the apartment stuff. I you know I'm fixing something. Sometimes I go in a, a person's place, and they'll actually have those on their walls on like giant poster boards. Like you are you are uh, this or that or that. do this today. Say. uh I love you to yourself, you know, stuff like that. And Hang I look there. at that board. I'm like, I need one of them boards, dude. But like, quit, quit, quit chewing your fingernails. I don't <laughs> do that. Stuff I like think that. I did when I was a kid. I bit my nails. I don't do it anymore. My youngest does. Shit, he was biting his fucking toenails off because you never had to clip them. <laughs> like, what was the thing we were saying that we should wake up and say every morning is God. What was it? It was something. Yeah. Oh my Dive God. I got to write this. Down. What? Time for whipped cream, something like Time that. Time for whipped cream, dude. Oh, I gotta post some pictures. We just played Pie Face Cannon before the show. <laughs> Was it like a game where you had to click the thing? And no, the- yeah, you load up. You have a cannon, and you put your face inside of a hole. You have a cannon. You you cock the cannon, and then you load a fucking bunch of whipped cream in it, and then you spin a dial, and then you set the setting. It's like one, two, or three, okay. and it adjusts on the thing. It's the dumbest game ever, and you just get blasted with whipped cream. It's badass. If you're lucky. Actually, Donovan, the youngest one, he blocked it. It has these two hands, and you just press back and forth. Or it has one hand that waves over the face. So, like, <laughs> and he blocked it. Grady shot, and he's like, he totally blocked it. And then everyone else got nailed. It, it was kind of funny. If you, if you didn't have any whipped cream, could you use something else? Like, I don't know if you could. No. It has like to shave, be something. Like shaving cream? Yeah, you could use shaving cream. Yeah, it has to be something like that. Yeah. Use like a shattered glass. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> maybe shattered maybe a bag of gasoline cannon. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shattered <laughs> glass. Oh my god. Bag of gasoline. A bag of gasoline. <laughs> yeah, just a little bag of gas. <laughs> oh, and it explodes on impact. <sighs> oh, oh dude. What advice would you give your early 2018 self if you could? Don't get sick in October. God, you were um, sick for a long time, dude. I would say yeah. go to uh, go to go to CAC because it's going to be the last oh. one. Wait, that I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. I mean, I, yeah, Wait, of course I'd like the last to go. one. 
Yeah, it was the yeah. last good one. It's not going to be like that anymore. Oh, Apparently. They're getting, like, they're getting too big for the britches? Too big for the britches. Totally. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the idea of what they're doing is awesome, but it's not oh, yeah. like totally. if you want to be in yeah. failed one, too. No way. No, that's different. No way. Yeah. I, I think if anything, we can have our own event. And those fucks can come to it, and then it'll be just like that. <laughs> well, we don't gotta call them fucks, but yeah, they can. No, come. those <laughs> my, our good friends, Darren and fucking Graham Dunlop. A, a um, Graham Altright Dunlop. <laughs> uh, Darren Grimes Graham. and Grant Dunlop from the Graham America Graham Show the, are good, the conspiracy. great fucking people, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't ask to meet anybody cooler than those dudes, and. uh I would. It would be really cool if they took time to come and hang out with us. Is kind of what I'm what saying. Would you guys consider your uh, your get together. Who, who knows? We're good, that we're good together. Who? No. What would Are, you consider your get together? Oh, that like what? Well, well, a, a good name. Oh, uh, the name of it? Ooh, that's good. That's a good question. Ah, nice, uh, a nice lake in Michigan. Once they once yeah. they legalize it. <laughs> right. You need some place like that. Like oh yeah, I used to go to. This uh, it was White Sands, Michigan. And it was uh, all the way up top towards Mackinac Island. They call and, it uh, contact at the cabin. You would maybe call it like uh, sizzling with the sizzling with the steaks, sizzle girdles, <laughs> sizzling with the uh, sizzle, uh, sizzle camp, sizzle chest. <laughs> sizzle chest this is devolving <laughs> just, yeah, sizzle chest. this is devolving in this stupid name uh <laughs> sizzle chest yeah but like it's <laughs> no, a bag of gasoline bag of gasoline, bag of gasoline. You gonna make it, you gonna make it? <laughs> are you going to bag of gasoline <laughs> Dude, it's actually pretty cool <laughs> it's gonna be lit bro it's gonna be on fire i just want to see wait. somebody at the gas station just filling up plastic just bags filling up, <laughs> filling up sandwich bags of just, just <laughs> need these bags of gasoline the, hey bro you hold this and then you can do the ziploc on it <laughs> like, we, gotta, fill these we, gotta, we gotta fill up we ran out of whipped cream for that game <laughs> I brought the pie face cannon, but I don't have any whipped cream, so I'm just gonna fill these up. I had I had a sandwich on my way up here. I'm gonna fill this up. <laughs> Dude, that would be so gross. Bag, bag of gas, of gasoline. That's, bag of I gas, think, 2020. Bag you know of I mean? gas. That's totally the show title. <laughs> come, on to, come on up, come, oh, up, come on up to bag of gas. Bag of gas. Oh. Have a gas. Man, have a gay so, old time. Uh, Oh, and in 2018, marijuana became legal in Canada, and yes, you can't it did. buy it anywhere. Yeah, and I heard it's and not good. It's, it. It, <laughs> it's, it, it kind of ruined it. Because, uh, well, what happened was uh, Aurora and all the other companies decided that it would they get more money if they sell it overseas. <laughs> so they just used the Canadian legislation to oh, uh, to grow the stuff legally and now they sell it overseas and Crazy. all of our uh all of our pot stores have zero zero stock because they're not allowed to grow it themselves wow well that's so one no- of the, the yeah that sucks but i mean you, you can at least legally grow it at your own house though so it's like yeah, you don't yeah, really you grow x amount four right? plants four, four plants yeah. yeah dude you can get a lot of four fucking plants yeah I, what i need to get is i need to get mac to come and show me how to build those dude plans. mac, mac dude disappeared like, it's gonzo i haven't seen mac in months foot. must have run out of cell phone minutes or something maybe you got cricket <laughs> yeah cricket, yeah, cricket wireless up there in the mountains, dude huh. um what habits did you cultivate oh um my uh a yearning for grim steak no, no your hat you 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 had two of these right here. So what habits did you have? And then like what parts of yourself or your life did a like a 180? You know, like you, that is kind of like a I do uh I do stretches in the morning a lot. So you're oh, you, so you're just yeah, you yeah, that's a good habit, dude. Like wake up. Well, that would be yeah, man, we can combine all these. Wake up. Oh, sit, get a little love going to yourself. Uh, you know, like let's make it a good day. Start out yeah, as you're stretching. Maybe do a little yoga or something. Bag of gas. Uh, then fail, like Failed's doing his 180 is the mind shift of 
God, it's such a fucked up year, you know? And like, but also combining the happy parts, like, like the trip and there's like so much you think back. Yeah. Uh, inside it doesn't feel good, but outside and, and connect, you know, between- making those connections and, throughout the, this year and then, then making the change you have now with, with uh, the, pa- the pattern is the habit of doing uh, the, the workouts and all that fail. I'm real proud of you, dude. I mean, dude, it was a heavy year, man. I know it was. And uh, I love you, yep. dude. You did a great job. Thanks buddy. Yeah, man. Um, you could think you could think like, yeah, it doesn't feel good on the inside and doesn't feel good on the outside, but somewhere in the middle, it feels good. Like on your skin, <laughs> like, they like the skin. somewhere right around the middle. Yeah. <laughs> right what, what 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 connects the skin to the muscle? That area. Right that there. muscle. Yeah, and that's where it feels good. You feel the yeah. burn right there. That's where you feel everything. If, yeah. if, if you really think about it, you stretch real hard. It's like a bag of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like a bag of whippets. <laughs> yes. Speaking of that, my kids were nailing that fucking can of ready whip. <laughs> oh man! They're like it doesn't work, and they're just like, oh jeez! I'm like, dude, oh, stop! You know, stop nitrous oxide. Grabbing the goddamn they're, can. They're I'm getting like, a wow, 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 yeah. wow, wow. Well, well, no, you can't get the. Well, you can if you get enough. But well, the, wait, wait, wait. The the cool thing is, you can tell your kids on the can. If you hit the can, it makes your voice deeper. It's the act, exact opposite. Yeah, he's eating. like, am I gonna? Yeah, I get, am I gonna get dizzy? I'm like, possibly, because <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> yeah. say like, dude, nail that shit. You'll be flying for a minute. <laughs> like, if I didn't even want to say the term with it, you know, like, yeah, that's a father of the year moment right there. Right, it was crazy. Oh, no, dude, you ain't doing it right. Nail that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just like I don't want. Punch yeah, like, balloon and fill it I was like in a panic balloon. situation because I'm like, I can't say what it's it called, is. It's called knucklehead. You, well, yeah, I grabbed, kept Back grabbing the can. He kept one. He they kept running after the can again because they just wanted to take some. They wanted the whip out of it but they're like doing fucking whipping shots i'm like oh my god <laughs> like they you couldn't press it down hard enough to get the actual cream to come out of it you should have knocked their heads together <laughs> oh they already do that dude oh, three i mean my youngest son for like a year and a half straight dude like every day he knocks his drink over no <laughs> doubt anywhere possible Bobsy. dude we'll be at we'll be at uh applebee's Boom, push, boom, just done. Like anywhere, pop, every day. Is he nervous? No, he's a klutz. He oh. <laughs> he's, he's three steps ahead of his like motor skills. Like, <laughs> he, yeah, he's puberty. Boom, shoof, boom, you know, fucking. He's just, yeah, he's like the my, matrix. Yeah. My dad, my dad, like, I'd be, he'd do this thing where he'd like provoke me when I was pouring a gallon of milk into like a bowl of cereal. He, He'd sit there and go, you're going to make a mess. You're going to make a mess. Amen. You're going to make a mess. And he would say it. And inevitably, there'd be times where he'd say it. And I'd actually just like make spill a the whole gallon. <laughs> and he, he got like a laugh out of it and at the same time. I don't think he ever got mad at me, but he just got. No, of, I don't ever get oh, mad. Buddy. It's like, I just know it's going to happen. <laughs> like, I don't say. Uh, yeah, I'm not like. Uh, yeah, I'll just. It, it happens so much now at this point now. Like, oh, here comes a walking disaster. <laughs> yeah, it's like fuck. Uh, I got, I got, a, I got a random story about my dad. It was kind of funny. I don't know how old I was. It was probably like in my teens or later. But we were in a car wash together, and he was just joking with me. And he like reached out. He was driving. He reached over to my to my seat and rolled the window down. <laughs> as the, we That's were, awesome. As we were in the car wash. <laughs> pretty funny i got a little little spoil i used to when i took my oldest son through the car wash the first time he was flipping out dude he fucking was so scared yeah and um yeah and then now we were just talking there's a synchro we were just talking about it last night at car wash we were driving home it's like wouldn't those things just smash the windows i'm like <laughs> I'm like, no, they're just pieces of cloth, dude. Oh, the, the, you have actual car yeah, those, those, yeah. You know, like those long strips that'll mm-hmm. clean your yeah. car. When you, yeah. What'd you think hey, about so, the ending of Breaking Bad? Uh, Breaking Bad? Yeah. Um, 
That was like you three remember years ago, it? dude. I do remember. I just finished. I finished. We it? finished Breaking Bad. You um, like set up like a gun uh, automatic. Oh, gun. dude, that was epic. Car. Yeah. He took out the whole goddamn face. That was a little too, uh, that was a little too movie it, magic. It could only end the, in well, that was a little movie ish, but it could only end with uh him saving Jesse, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, season one was the best. Did you like, like did you like uh get like a soft spot for, for Jesse? For Jesse? Of course. Yeah. Of course, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like a poster of him on your wall. I would. I should paint him on the wall. And the fucking Nazi guy from uh uh high castle oh my god which like, guy there Not there's the, a guy that it, you, if you ever watch man in a high castle which character is it though in, it's uh, the in, um oh my god these names not, not one of his little home but one of his homeboys one of jesse's homeboys no i'm talking about man in the high castle oh because oh, yeah. i'm talking about characters that you wouldn't normally like root You're for with nazis the one guy is a well he was he was a colonel or whatever in in the army and then because the, i'm thinking of watching it oh uh, did you have to watch this show i think it's i the, recommend everybody that is in the, you don't think listening it's right now watch man in the high castle you don't huh. think it's propaganda well that's what the whole goddamn show's about i know nazi you propaganda like, you don't think it's like like putting little uh little nuggets in your brain as of course it, it is but it, but even you know what it's doing? It's making you think. Okay, you have th- yeah three versions of America going on at one time in one fucking show. You have what? It's like multiple uh, universe threads. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. It's yeah, exactly what it is. My, my alley, dude. You'll love it. It's amazing. Uh, on the left, on the left, I say the left coast. The west coast. You have the Japanese. Um. Uh. It's like Japanese something something, yeah, you know, like like the, the JPL or whatever, the Japanese something something whatever, uh, and that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, and then you have the uh, the Reich, which is, and then you have a neutral zone, which you know, and it's all called America. It's like the uh, not you know, uh, the Greater America Reich or some shit, you know. Like, I mean, they, they and there's a neutral zone, which is all the way down the middle of of America, which is like a Colorado and shit, which people can go and like be out of those situation, you know, like whatever they're in, if they're if they're in the left coast or the right coast, and uh, and the neutral zone is just like a scavenger land type deal. I mean, you're in hanging out in Colorado and like, yeah, it's kind of crazy, dude. Uh, but. It, it's very propaganda. You should see the Nazi propaganda. It's on every inch of it, dude. On the buttons, on lapels. Every, I mean, every brick is like some type of swastika. You know, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> but they live like normal lives, but they're all dressed like in the Reich. And they're this ultimate race, you know, like what could have been. And then you see what could have been if the Japanese came and invaded on the left coast crazy yeah and but then there's a whole crazy inner timeline twist going on through the whole entire no, 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 too too much no yeah and that's but and that's man in the high castle show. did you ever man in the high uh, castle. you ever hear about like the what was like the hot air balloon bombs that uh japan supposedly sent over to the u.s i did i think we read a story on it once we or you did or we did i can't remember i think we talked about it yeah never mind um deja vu deja vu yeah. It happens. Was there anything you did for the first time in your life? Yeah, there you go. That goes back to the, you know, doing some whatever. Uh, like you're still uh, on this list, James. Yeah, I'm just going back real quick to go down it. Yeah, was yeah. Was there anything you did for the first time in your life? What was your favorite so. moment spent with friends? Oh, dude, fuck Crypticon. Crypticon. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. Uh. What major goal did you lay for the foundations for? No, I didn't do any of that. Goals. Goal setting. Goals. That's huge. Goal setting. Uh, I have no goals. No goals? No you goal. just live in life, dude? Yep. Yeah. Day by day. That's all we can control at this point, I think. Huh. I might try to like grow out my nails really long. and. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an answer I love. <laughs> you do that, I'll do my toenails. 
I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do my thing. Going for the longest eyebrow lash, which I do have. You ever wake up though, sometimes with those hair oh, dude, that get, is like, like a wild one? Yeah. Oh, dude. One well, yeah. that you're like, it's three inches long. Where the fuck did that go? On your that? eye? On your, I, no, you're I, like, an eye eye like an eyelash. Like a really long eyebrow. eyebrow. Eye. Yeah. It like ends up in your eye. Well, it'll start. Yeah, you'll feel like a tingling. You're like, what is that? And you pull it out, and it's like an inch and a half yeah, long. You're like, what that's, the that's, f- that's freakish. Man. Oh, I have. I could get a unibrow going if I wanted to. Get it, I was, I had that. What experience would you love to do all over again? Huh. In 2018. What would, yeah, all over. Oh, man. Fucking Crypticon. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to, I would love to do it again right now. Let's go. Hey, g- give me a date. I'm going next my... Say again, failed. Sorry. I'm going this year for sure. You guys are going to get a blast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah dude, it was fun. I think it's going to be in uh, Lexington <laughs> it wasn't this year. that fun. Come on, dude. Yeah. I mean, fun. you're coming from Canada for it. There's better shit to see. Hey, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, I, that's what I mean. I we gotta do our own thing. Guys, really, I'm just coming to see you guys. That's well, that's what. Yeah, yeah that's that's a, well, dude, we can do. Uh, we you can, guys should come to Paramania. Oh, we could then do, we should do something like that. We yeah, could do maybe. sizzle. I mean, we could do sizzle chest. We still got to do sizzle chest. It's gonna. It's gonna sizzle, work. No, get bag of gas. It's bag of gas. <laughs> bag of gas. <laughs> I'm bag. totally in on bag of gas for sure. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bag of gas. <laughs> bag of gas. <laughs> we gotta be able to make a logo for that. that oh, that'd be a pretty After I make Felix's for... artwork. Uh, going yeah. going through customs. And what is your uh what is the intent of your visit to the United States of America? I'm attending <laughs> bag of gas. <laughs> bag of gas. <laughs> Just let me through. We have a huge bag of gas meetup. Two, two G's. And then I, with two G's I, and bag. Bag. Oh my god. And then two G's in gas. So oh my god. Gas. Yeah, make it like cement. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> two two like G's. Four G's in the middle. Four G's. What's up, bro? <laughs> Winner <laughs> takes all. Four grand. Five G. <laughs> oh, what was the biggest problem you solved in 2018? Oh, uh, getting out of my house deal. Oh my god. Yeah, that was my biggest fucking problem. <laughs> All right, before you move mm. on, give me a date uh, from this past year, and I, I want to summarize my journal entry. As as people that, who know who listen to this, I, I've kept journal entries since October of 2013. Mm. Every day. Date. So well, I mean, we can go so, just 2018. Pick a date, J- Jerry. You pick the date. <clears throat> February 20th. Hey, February 20th. happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave out like personal stuff. That's fine. Okay. No, it's not fine. Jimmy said, <laughs> uh, "No, just uh, I just mentioned like uh, hopefulness for my uh, my son, and hope hopefully he sleeps off his sickness." Oh, oh he was he sick. Bar- oh, he barfed on my wife right before bed. I yeah, he just did that last week. Yeah, <laughs> uh, get, get rid of that kid. Get it. It's winter time, <laughs> dude. Those kids are sick as fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Mine's coughing a lung up right now. <laughs> Uh, says there. I got. I got a little timing by the end. Timing, timing. What? Timing. Oh, my my mother in law wasn't feeling well. Uh, that's about it. Sickness. Told you. Let's go Sickness. with my youngest son's birthday. Um. Uh, June 29th June twenty ninth. Here we go. Twenty eighteen. Twenty ninth. Summertime. Summer, oh, really summertime. Small. It was a Friday. Yep. A Friday. You remember yep. that? We were at the arcade with him. No, we had a party here because we didn't know we were if we were moving or not. That was a weekend. That, yeah, it was a crazy time, dude. Oh my god. Uh, it says here it was a decent day. I cleaned the bathroom. My body's tired. Uh, went to uh, Mo and John. That's like my uh, wife's uh, uncle and aunt to visit. Uh, I was working on a song called Safe, which I think I ended up changing to Disco Ball. Okay. Nice. And then that was just it. Yeah. Right on. Pretty boring. Grim, you pick a day. Um, September 11th. <gasps> okay, here we go. September 11th. Uh, oh, there's 11-11. September oh, 11th. Y'all ready for this? Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. 
Oh, I made progress on a song called The Sky is Falling. I worked on a bicycle break uh, with my son, Artie. I'm, oh, I recorded some videos of me and my son, I think, working on my bike or on a bike. My wife went to a little music class with my son. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> she says here, this is kind of funny. My wife says that this music class, it's all for like little toddlers. She says that there's like uh, there were little girls that were nuts, acting crazy, biting people, hugging strangers. And then at the end, I wrote, now on CWS. There it is. Nice, dude. Pretty nice. I, exactly what I, was I, I, I have a love. I need. Uh, and I, I got the it, one. I got the 2017 in my hand, too. Oh, my oh, God. Man. We can go way, but you can keep Let's go going two, two years back from 9 11. 9 11. 9, 11 two years back. Yeah. So 2015? No, 9 11 on 2017. Oh, 2017. Okay. It was. Is uh, that the year that uh, Hillary's um, leg supports are falling apart? Oh, when no, Trump that, won no, that shit. Was, yeah. That was 2016. Oh, it's 2016. Okay. The Hillary, the Hillary leg support mechanism was failing. <laughs> she fell into the van. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw that. that. Nobody oh, saw like, that. Oh, that they did not want that video out. <laughs> Wait, Trump was already president at that point. Well, he just won it, right? Yeah. No, this is 2017. <laughs> no. Oh, was yeah, we we're talking he about. It was 16. It was, it was 16 that that happened, but Oh, you know that big black doctor dude? Who yeah. Oh, him? yeah, him, yeah. He yeah. died. What? <clears throat> He's dead. What um Who? the dude that was running for president? What then? No, 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 no. Oh, the big black doctor guy that was hanging out with Hillary. He was always behind oh. her. Oh, he's he, dead now. Okay. Yeah, he, he died last year. I forgot. You just made name. the list. Did he get suicide? He might. He might have. <laughs> I love. Yeah, that's a. Uh, oh, that's a wrestling thing. Uh, you guys remember, like, right, right when uh, Trump became president, there was like uh, all these like crazy. Oh yeah, the like cry fest and everything. And yeah, like, but do you remember that like big black guy that, that had like a video where he was just like oh, reasoning shit. with like a couple of. People? Oh yeah. And those women were going crazy on him, but he was just kind of like, "Hey, if you if you keep acting like this, you know, you're gonna make the, those kinds of things happen." If you're like up in arms about things not happening, your logic is horrible for people. Uh, they can't take it. No, you're gonna, you're gonna get what you deserve, kind of thing. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That guy was on point, man. Yeah, what was his name like Joe? I think it was just like Joe. Joe yeah. from Memphis. <laughs> like that. I'll find him. It's Ryan from Kansas. Uh. Let's see. What was the funniest moment? One that still makes you burst out laughing. Oh my god, that's tough to remember. Yeah, I mean, I laugh a lot. I laugh at the dumbest shit ever, too. Uh, mm, oh, the guy's name was Big Joe. Big Joe at the woman's Big Joe in L.A. Yeah, I remember watching that. Like, ah. I gotta there's go back and look at my journal so I can year. find that. I mean, there's so hear, much. Every time I hear it, I laugh, and it was uh, two vampires, and they were experimenting. That's the funniest. Thing <laughs> ever. I used to do that. Dude, that is decrim. Oh my god, you should pull that up. <laughs> oh my god, we should play that, dude. Oh my god, we should play that we'll, shit. We'll it's, do it later. It's D and D, oh. man. It's our, it's our, it's our, D&D, it's our secret D and D. People want to oh. know they can play. Dude, that is a great. Uh, dude. Sometimes I'll uh, I'll title some of my journal entries, and on uh, July twentieth of two thousand eight, I titled it "Bought a Squeegee." Oh, okay. <laughs> that was like the highlight of my day, or something. <laughs> that like sums up my day that I bought a squeegee on that day. So now that you read that journal entry, do you remember the day you bought a squeegee? I remember getting a squeegee to clean our windows. That's pretty much it. Like, how, how do you read these? Do you just write them down and then, like, right now you're going back and looking at them, or like, do you just kind of flip and you're like, ah, but you know, kind of well, like this, a. This is one that's got like the whole year in it, and like, I don't yeah. really go. Sometimes I'll go look at it and be like, oh, what was I doing? Random a month flip a month ago. Oh, okay. Uh, just to kind of keep track and like, oh yeah, like when you're writing in it, then you just kind of flip back real quick or something, or like. 
usually it's like what it is it's usually it's at like the tail end of the night and i'm just kind of like oh it's like a chore so i just write in little snippets and well it's a good chore though well yeah, it's so just... that when he runs for supreme court justice he'll have uh yes proof that i hung honest. out with ted yeah. dan yeah. <laughs> like, i wasn't hanging out with chris <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah i was well, not there. hanging out with uh said person you want to hear some of the titles just random i'll just do a couple titles from the, the year sure okay on uh uh august 28th 2018 i titled it rain let there be rain uh, uh july 10th cleaned basement Oh, I, uh, July 11th, I called it Quick Entry. Uh, uh, that must have been a good night. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I get creative with them, but I can't find any. Cre- <laughs> uh, sometimes. Here's a good one. Uh, November 11th, 2018. Ooh. So I just entitled it Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> bats. I, I, uh, November 13th, I called this one Bats with an exclamation point. <laughs> funniest bad? moment. Grim, what was your funniest moment? Dude, I, I mean, there's know. so many. It could just be watching some anime thing. You're like, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> like, you know what makes me laugh, dude? I was I was doing some artwork the other night on the computer, and I was watching Djibouti dubs. <laughs> oh, Djibouti dubs <laughs> that is great. That makes me laugh. Those guys, man, I found a, a, like a whole cache of uh, Guy Fieri dubs. I, that they oh, did. dude, those are so I watched, funny. I watched some I never of saw them. Oh, my God. Dude, I, oh, my, I didn't even know what I watched. It was, uh, shit. Ugh, keep talking. I can't remember right now. Um, what were some of the things he said in the Djibouti dubs with Guy Fieri? With the 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 Asian I didn't watch that yet. Was making like a oh, some of the things that they made that Asian guy say was pretty funny. Dude, they're good. We all watched. <laughs> they're the, real uh, good. Which one was it? It was uh, Demolition Man. Didn't we all watch that. Together, that is a great it? one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh my god, what the fuck one? was it I watched? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, yeah, here what, is, go. what does Djibouti dubs mean? Where they come from? I know the dubs. I don't know. Djibouti or, dub. <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, I, that's like a, just a weird saying, you know? Like, uh, oh my god, what was it? Djibouti. Oh, yeah, there's a guy fury on here. That's awesome. What the fuck did I watch? <laughs> uh,. Damn it! Was that your inner monologue? This this always feels like this is the time to wrap up the show, and James is always ending on a on a something he can't remember. I'm <laughs> like, sorry, oh, what the fuck dude. Was that? Oh, Willy <laughs> Wonka! I watched Willy Wonka and Con Air. <laughs> okay, of Djibouti. Dude, Willy Wonka was great. <laughs> so it was Con Air because they were just like, man, there's still like 30 minutes to go in this movie. How the hell are they gonna do that? <laughs> oh, here's your bear. <laughs> That no, dude, that fucking Djibouti doves. Check it out, YouTube. Check it out. Uh, also, check out the show uh, next week. Check out cruisingwithstake.com dot com for oh, everything wait, cruising with steak uh, related. Wait, 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 Oh, you should have been promoing that all show. <sighs> uh, it'll probably get released. Right it'll get released like probably 20 minutes before I go on Noxmente. So, <laughs> I mean, oh. and we don't really have like um, um, any live listeners. Did anybody talk about what they did on? Uh, let's at least talk about what we did on <laughs> New Year's Eve. I did. Oh, I just. I was in bed at 1130. Yeah. Yeah, I was in I bed was... by probably about uh, 1030 ish, 10 ish. Oh, my God. No way. I was up. I was oh, sho- three. <laughs> I was shoveling at like eleven thirty p.m. Snow. Do you have snow? We got snow, and reorganizing our. I built some shelves in the basement, and we haven't had snow yet. Reorganizing yeah. the basement till like one in the morning. Oof. Yeah. yeah, when you get those little power, you know, spell, you know, you gotta, you gotta get work done. You know, I was restless. The past yeah. Few nights. Got two okay. feet of snow. But uh, uh, what do you want the over? You, uh, 
Wait, wait. How- Failed. What'd you do? I binge watched Netflix until eleven o'clock and then passed out. Nice. I woke up in the morning to a shitload of like happy uh New Year <clears throat> messages that nice. I still you probably must... should uh, reply. Nah, you don't need it. It's it's fake. It's fake New Year's anyway. <laughs> it's fake. automated automated uh reply. Uh, yeah. Just like... you too. <laughs> <clears throat> I got on my uh, Google uh, messages email. Uh, I got an email um, from Trump. No, from my brother-in-law oh. who's getting married, and he sent an email later. Now we're good. Now it's back, and I'm recording right now mid Felix's story because I'm an idiot. Powered okay, everything so my down. Brother, my brother-in-law. Uh, this is just like a Google. Those Google auto responses. The auto response to him asking me if I wanted to go to his bachelor party was the word "in." Period. Just in, just like, are you going to come to this? Are you going to attend? And I was just like, in. like I N or like the in, like the I, I- N N, like I'm in, in, like I. N. <laughs> oh, like in, yeah, I'm in, yeah, okay. <laughs> but I, I've never used those auto responses because I feel like the moment you start doing that is the moment you like start. It's another outsourcing, D. <laughs> outsourcing your your mind <laughs> or something. It, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's it's another. D D D leveling up, you know, you're going backwards. They're yeah. trying to take my job. That's Damn, that. man. My exactly. job is to type a response. Yes. And they're Did trying to take the that from me. No, man. Everything my job everything. was to call my grandma. Now I gotta text my we're, grandma. Now I just gotta say good. send grandma, I'm in. <laughs> send grandma e card. Send grandma e card. Send right. grandma heart emoji. <laughs> you want to see that's where we're at today. Yeah. But first, well, guys, send grandma with let's selfie. Wrap the, of, let's wrap this of, up. Uh, no. <laughs> no, because what it'll no, do, be like, send, gonna do send it. grandma with selfie of wife, son, and daughter. And, it, and Google can find your wife, son, and daughter. Auto generated. With, with the face capture. And then you're then you're all set. <laughs> just like the AI that that, that uh, formed those those completely new faces. Yeah. Like oh people. man, I don't trust that. that don't exist. Crazy. That's wild. <laughs> but wait, we were actually I, I, when, before we were list, before we started. I was listening because I was just going back to all the the shows that we did over the this year, and the first one we did of the new year was with Ryan Peverly. And we were talking about that same thing about AI? Uh, phones uh, scanning faces and how just what you know. I don't know. He was not into it at all. <laughs> it, well, now, like well, the that the TSA stuff. It's all going to be like face recognition rather than like. Yeah, I, I think I saw it last time I was at the freaking airport. I don't. Like, they wanted you to like stand in front of this fuck this like this this like iPad. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, it's going into a database. I'd rather get scanned. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool when you go to the airport with kids. They just kind of like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> or you got to get like a, you just got to get your private, your own private airplane. Private airplane. Totally. I mean, that's what I'm going to do in 2019. That's my goal. I yeah. Which uh, personal goal. quality do you want to develop or strengthen for 2019? I think I want to make my juggling a little better. I mean, I could juggle Juggling? pretty good, yeah. but I think I can get really good at it. <laughs> yeah, like get Personal get some chainsaws ball. or some some like flaming bowling pins or something in there. That'd be pretty sweet. I go for machetes first. Do machetes, and then after you, get that's a good that, idea. Then chainsaws. Felix is going for. Uh, I just came up with a lathe uh, idea for Jerry. Jerry, you could make like little kind of like puzzles, like wood puzzles. <laughs> Not with a lathe. <clears throat> No, that's more like that's a that's a jigsaw. You can make wig, uh, wig, wood, toy, pl- like um, puzzles. I'm sorry, not puzzles. You can make wooden I'm th- dildos. I'm thinking. I know. Here's my idea. Like toys. You can make Pretty toys. Much. Like, uh, imagine like a, a little thing where you do like a groove that like winds around it, like a DNA strand, and you could have someone put a marble in one end on one yeah. end and try to make it to the end without uh, it falling off. You can't make a corkscrew form on a lathe without like hand sawing the uh oh, okay the holes so you want not him i know of so you want him to make a marble madness marble device. puzzle yeah device 
Uh, oh, are you gonna start making like a uh, like a uh, uh, artisan uh, uh, vape holders? <laughs> like an ashtray, but like a vape holder instead. When I get good at it, we can talk about it. We can talk about. Oh, uh, no, no, you could make uh, yamakas, wooden yamakas. <laughs> wooden yamakas. <laughs> <laughs> you want the real firmament? Oh my you god! You got to make a kosher out of kosher wood. Yeah. Be this is out of the. Uh, <laughs> this is the oh, wood of wait. Christ, and then just <laughs> drill it out. The wood of Christ compels you. Yes, the mood of Kamaz can build you. Except so, uh, James, uh, the Jews. Dude, when, when you guys go to bag, the Bag of Gas Festival, everyone wears the Wood of Christ hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what would the Jews you? don't believe in Jesus? <laughs> yeah, what Jews. would you do the at the Bag of Gas Festival? That's like it's yeah. That's like the three the three knocks to get in. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. <laughs> Wait, wait, what wait. would you do? <laughs> These three nuns die in a car crash and go to heaven and throw out the gates. And St. Peter comes to them and says, uh, before you enter heaven, because you're nuns, you have to wash. If you ever touch the penis, you know, or had sex, you have to wash that body part with this fountain, this holy water fountain, which he points to. It's like a birdbath. And says to the first nun, sister, whatever, how about you? And she's like, okay. And she goes over and she washes her hands, right? And uh, the next next nun goes over and washes her ass in there, her asshole, right? <laughs> and the third one, the, the, the St. Peter goes, okay, your turn. She goes, I'm not gargling in there after she sticks her ass in. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, that's the joke you, you kind of wrecked it a bit there it's the third nun butts in front of the second nun and saint peter says what's your hurry and she says yeah. do you think i'm gonna gargle that water after she puts her ass in it you're wrong right. I, I always gotta, forget I I that you're the i forget you're the master of jokes failed remember that night I was, you... I was i was gonna completely wreck it again just to bring it back yeah I, I just let him play it the, this was sean shameless <laughs> every single joke he said you you gave the punchline like 20 jokes in a row yes that you was great punchline here's one maybe maybe uh uh fail can finish this one for me it's about none I think it's a little something like uh, there's a couple of two nuns and uh, the priest goes to him, hey, blind, the blind guy is going to show up a little later today. Uh, you be real nice to him. Be real good to him. Uh, show him some hospitality. So the the blind guy shows up. He's at the church. I don't really know where this is going. And then he uh, then he leaves and he kind of leaves and he talks to the priest. He's like, oh, those, uh, those nuns you got there, they're a little uh, unorthodox. So the priest goes up to the nuns and said, "Hey, what's what? Uh, Fuck it, right in the pussy." <laughs> what, what's with the blind guy? What, what? Why do you say that? And then they're like, "Blind guy." I think I'm doing this joke totally wrong. <laughs> Keep going. They thought he was. They thought he was blind, but he wasn't blind. He was like fixing the blinds, and they ended up like flashing their uh, their boobies at the <laughs> at the blind. What guy. are you people on dope? <laughs> you know that you, one I'll failed. Give you, uh, no, no, no. Phil's got the joke. Uh, they ended up, they ended up being like kind of frisk, frisky nuns. And they flash, they flash their their boobs at the at the blind guy because they think he's blind, but he's really a guy who repairs blinds. Oh uh, my god! Okay, <laughs> but it's funnier if you like say it the right way. All right, I'm officially wrapping up the show now. This is about enough. Uh, this this is is fun. We gotta, We're killing we it on that. Guys, we gotta hang on to it because it was special. It's we been a very it special year. We're gonna make 2019 even more special. Let's oh, do it. Totally. The cruise with steak way. Oh, we're, we're taking wait, it. Wait, there. Grimstick, when you were gone, bag of gas. No, James says he's gonna make my logo now. Oh, I nice. <laughs> oh yeah, James. Two years yeah. in the making. We got this Two logo. Two years in the making. It's gonna set it off. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be an epic logo. That's all I got. Like, oh, dude, it's gonna be amazing. I hope it is. Well, well, I explained it on the last episode. If you guys listen to it, yeah, I check it out. Here. Get it down. You know what I'm saying, Felix? That's Chris. that's that's the only reason. It's just like no, there's no pressure. I've told you, like this is yeah. they even, like they haven't even done anything with it. So I much get pressure. it. I, I'm just saying. At the same time, it's like if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something like do it the right way. Yes. 
Do the and I, I will put everything I have in it. I'll give you multiple things. I'll give you all that. You know. They don't call you 110% cruise for nothing. Boom. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's kind of when I walk into a room, uh, people just laugh. Yeah, thanks What's for that? hanging out with us, Failed and the Felix. <laughs> Jerry, you guys are awesome. <laughs> we should all sing that one song. It's like, na, 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 na. James, love you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks for listening. This has been another Cruise and Mistake presentation. Good, good night. Uh No longer anxious with time No longer in my prime A sliver of wisdom A taste of ambrosia Perfectly fine in my skin Even on a rainy day Unraveling holograms Sifting through beach sand You see a flash in the pan A metal detector A fool and his folly Snug as a bug in a rug In my humble abode Perfectly fine in my skin on a rainy day is time drags your computer lags causing a time rift then your body goes stiff Down on your luck and life is hard No worry, I'll be your bodyguard Building up and building up and building up Breaking down and building up and building up and building up 